Hey guys, I'm very proud and excited to announce that my newest special, Sledgehammer, is streaming right now on Netflix. Please give it a watch, share it, have a party, just watch the damn special. This week on your mom's house, and let's go to Mexico and do some blow. Let's party, I'm ready to fucking party. Why do women in the Midwest just get that haircut? Oh no. <laughs> we wanna ironically do a talk show. Like we want a podcast for it for ugly men. I've been thinking about getting my dick cut off. <laughs> <laughs> you should try it. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Sattva. Go to sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Good day. Good day, <clears throat> Brazilian pussy eating. Yeah, 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 they're good at it. They're good at it. They're the best at it. That's what we heard. From Rachel Wolfson last Direct time. from her pussy source. <laughs> said, said uh, those those guys are mm -hmm. to the bone. <laughs> to the bone, to the bang. To the bang. Obrigado. Yeah, and then... Nadav said that there's a sex carnival. Sex carnival down there, he said. Yeah, don't they have sex carnival? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the, it's just carnival. They don't pronounce the X on it. Say se carnival? Say carnival. Yeah, could you pull that up? Because I've never mm, heard of that. I've never heard of that. <laughs> sex um, carnival. Brazilian. I've never heard of it. You're, oh, wow. Well, this is interesting already. Okay. It's the fat fingers I'm working with, guys. Uh, I'm, okay. sorry. I'm sorry. You've got fat fingers. Well, it goes to a porno. That's the first oh. thing that comes up. Our... <laughs> but look how many results How about are just Carnival Brazil? <laughs> right. Can we just, just do that? Because <laughs> um, I didn't think it had anything to do with sex per se. Yeah, I didn't either. It's just like their celebration. Uh, Carnival Lo Brazil. Lover's Day, yeah. It's annual Brazilian oh. festival held the Friday afternoon before Ash Wednesday at noon. Okay. Marks the beginning of Lent. Not really a sex event. This must be a different one, though. Yeah. <laughs> People, it's very festive, you know. Right, before Lent. Yeah. Sure. The, like, the sex he's Lent. He's like, you know the sex carnival they have? <laughs> before Lent. I think it's just you're just aroused by the festival is what's going yeah. on. Yeah. You know what? You're right. I think I made those connections when I was on xvideos.com and I saw all Yeah, those I think videos. you did too. Yeah. Well, because yeah. they are half naked chicks. They are. And it's a very sexual place. I mean, yeah. Brazil is, is very open with bodies and, and, you know, they eat pussy really well. Yeah. The women have big fat asses. Yeah. It's celebrated. Like the body is celebrated there. You go they, there. They lay to out at the beach. Buy and they're, an ass. they're always what? in thongs. Yeah. Why do you think they're so horned up? What do I you mean, think it I is? think it, some of it is that, you know, uh, they're. They're a beach culture, right? Yeah. I mean, not everybody in Brazil lives at the beach, but I'm saying you, yes. you associate, you know. Bodies and, the, 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 and You stuff. think about Brazil, a lot of people think about the beach. Yeah. And um, it's a warm climate. People are not wearing a lot of clothes for a lot of the year. Um, and they're just open with that. I mean, they're just, they don't shy away from it. They're, they kind of embrace the human body and their, their Latin flavors are, you know, shake your ass and let me eat your pussy out. Yeah. You know? It's kind of like Miami. I would say it's even more sexed yeah. up than Miami. Yeah. Miami's very horny. Yeah, Miami's like, you haven't, you didn't get fingered in third grade? And you're like, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I remember when a guy told me that. He was like, you weren't getting blown in like fifth grade? I was like, no. <laughs> what do you think the horniest cities are? So let's go through this. In the States or in the world? Just in the world. Like, I know Brazil's not a city. No, Rio. Rio. You could say Rio, yeah. Rio. Is a horny city? Is the horniest city? Is yeah. it? My, Miami is Miami is a definitely so horny, horny. City. But what are the two right off the bat have in common? Warm climates. Latins. Oh, Latins and too. warm climates. Yeah. And you know where else is yeah. super horny? Yeah. You and I have been there. Yeah. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Remember when yeah. we docked and we were at the towel shops and all the towels have like naked ladies on them and stuff. And, um, and naked dudes. And Dominicans. Dominicans. We were in the Dominican Republic. Super they were all horny. about like, ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're watching the fuck shows on the television? And you're like, yep. Yeah, they had hardcore what's porn. What's the criteria for this list? This says horniest cities. Oh, what boy. is that even? What's the criteria? Uh, well, they do say Rio de Janeiro, obviously, when it comes to sex. These are freaky people. Yeah. But, uh, who well, love people who love sex the most, it mm -hmm. says. But what is it? I mean, based on what? They polled people? Do you like sex? <laughs> the most sexually active? Yeah, how would they know? In the UK, which shagged their way onto the global charts. Okay. No way London is fine. Are they taking surveys and stuff of who's fucking the most? Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> how are they taking... Where's this list outside of the UK? This is just a UK list. 
Okay, number one, Rio. We nailed it. Yeah. We nailed it. Number two, Paris. Yeah, they liked to fuck. Paris um, loves and fucking Los French. Angeles is number oh, three. No way. You Ibiza? think so? Ibiza. That's oh. a fuck. That's where you go to rave is, and is dance. Ibiza. Is Ibiza. Yeah. Yeah. Um, London. I don't I, feel sex vibes from London. I love um, it there. Berlin, definitely no sex vibes. I, I feel kink vibes. Santiago is a real straight lace. In Chile, it's really like straight lace for, for Latin people. Prague, also, I didn't feel that mm. vibe. Judor Jude titties. titties. Yeah, that's a, that's a sexy town. Joburg, Johannesburg. Maybe. I felt zero sexual vibes in Joburg. Uh, Sydney, horny. Horny Sydney. There's San Juan, Puerto Rico, number 15. Dude, that should be number two, homie. It should go like this. Number one, Brazil, entire country. Number two, <laughs> Miami. Yeah. Number three. Miami's 20. On the bro, list. Bro, this list is but what fucking is the, what, this bullshit. This is just, it says sexual activity. Like, what does this mean? Okay. According to studies by okay. Louisa. Okay. We asked 500,000 horny youngsters from over 200 cities how, how much, much they, they Okay. Fuck. So this is just people going, yeah, we <laughs> fuck, like, based on this one poll, and then they go, here's your list. Yeah, this isn't for But I would argue, I would, so fine, let's make our own criterion. I would say, like, the horny vibes you feel just walking down the street. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, Miami's got such horny vibes, because everybody's half naked. Yeah. And then Puerto Rico is all horny vibes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Paris is, like, uh, sensual vibes, but not, like, ho horny you know? No, but what you get, I think, in Paris is you get the idea that like um, people are very comfortable with sex, right? Yeah, so that like makes that. it like you know, a naked body is like it's a human body. You know, it's just the body. It's, it's just a the billboard body. of a yes. woman. Big like, T. You see her breasts. Why is this? I love this. Elicit a reaction from you. I don't know yeah. why. It's natural. You know? Yeah, I like that. Natural. You take your penis and you show it to her. And she, <laughs> yeah. You know what vibes I like mm. are like Holland sexual vibes, like yeah. where you're just watching a. A TV show at ten o'clock at night, and you'll just see titties like in a commercial. Mm. But that's normal. Like yeah. it's for like a tit company or whatever, yeah. something tit related. And you're like, oh yeah, it makes sense. There's tits. True. It doesn't bother me. Like I, I don't mind showing the tits when it makes sense. Of course. Or dicks. Um, I gotta I, do this like, real quick. Sorry. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh my God. What's happening? If you don't know, my special <laughs> sledgehammer is available now on Netflix. <gasps> Thank you. Bow, 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 bow. Um, hope you enjoy it. Worked really hard on it. Um, toured the whole goddamn planet for it. Sure so did, yeah. Um, yeah, you know. Um, also, Netflix was uh, very gracious in that they um, they let me um, cut bits and they're letting me release those bits. Mm. So we're going to release those bits um, either through their channel or mine, but those will be coming out in the next week, some of them. Very good. Um, and then we also made a behind-the-scenes uh, documentary leading up to the special, which we're going to release, I believe, on my page. Is it my YouTube page? I, don't, I think so. So uh, look for that in the, also in the next week. Very exciting, Jeans. Yeah, and exciting. July 4th, big holiday in America. Yeah, well, it was they yesterday, so... Well, they know you're no, a patriot, and that's do. why you chose July 4th. Yeah, I did it for this country. You know. But you, it's worldwide streaming, so you don't have to be American to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but you came everywhere. I did. You came everywhere and told your jokes, and I now did. everybody can see what cities you came in. Yeah, here's what I'd like to know, is which cities this lady came in. Well, there was the guy that wanted me to <laughs> shit in his mouth. Uh, and and peeing it as well. I struggle with peeing, let alone doing the shit. Pay so in. he said, would I prepare it beforehand? And could I make him a, a poo sandwich sure. or a poo burger? Um, and then he'd eat it. And then I could, he could, if I was able to pee, he could wash it down. Mm, do it for That's oh, cool, God. Tom. Don't bring anyone mother into this. Yo, mom in the fuck is there? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah. 
Meow, 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 meow. What's up? That was pretty gross. Yeah, you know what's weird? Is that yeah. we identify her as a grandma, like a sweet old lady, but yeah. she doesn't identify as like a sweet grandma. I think about this all the time when I see older people, someone with a full head of white hair, and you go like, oh, that, that's, that'll, I, 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 I should watch my mouth in front of them, or you know, you can't bring up this topic. And then you see this sweet old lady go, I shit in somebody, I made right. them a shit sandwich, and pissed in their mouth to wash it down. Right. And you're like, Fuck, man. Yeah, why do we assume that they're more uptight? Because when in reality, they could be, they should be like this. They should have, well, they have yeah. life experience. Yeah, because you think of grandma and grandpa, and they're just like, do you want some ice cream? You know, not like, you know, one time I blew four guys <laughs> and on a cruise right before I met your grandfather. And you're like, wow, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, but this is a nasty old broad. Um, she is nasty. She's yeah. disgusting. Uh, <laughs> she's fucking gnarly, man. Thanks for sharing. Her. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Where are you going to be? You got some dates? Oh coming yeah, up? yeah. I got some dates. You got to pull those up. Here we go. First of all, first of all, ChristinePOnline.com. July, June, July. Uh, I'm going to go to Herium Comedy Club in Barfalo, New York. Don't compliment that bitch. Uh -huh. September sixth. <laughs> And then September 7th at Toronto, Toronto. Oh, white baby, bro. September 8th at Jizz and Peg, Canada. Cause I ain't going out like that. September 14th through 16th, Comedy Vax in Danva downtown. This shit should be easy. And then Vice Guys in Short Lake Titties, Puta. Nigga, you so motherfucking stupid. Okay. October 13th. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, ho. Are you? Okay. Wow, that was a crazy <laughs> ride. <laughs> Okay. That was cool though. I always like hearing that stuff. Oh, good. Cock sucker. Wow. So, um, wow. There it is. The special's out. Christina's doing dates. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, do you want to hear? It? So, we played um, this clip of this woman complaining about the perils of being very fat and traveling. And traveling. And how the. Um, the industry, the travel industry, really should be accommodating four to six hundred pound people more, <laughs> and how it's such bullshit that they don't on flights, hotels, excursions, um, toilets. Should it's be just everything. Bigger. If if uh, if you didn't, you know, here's a little taste of it. Like, it's super frustrating that there's even a difference between yeah. traveling as a straight sized person versus a plus size person. Traveling in general is difficult in addition to you know being removed from the comforts of your own home being removed. you're also thrown in this like little wrench of like oh also <laughs> you may be not able to fit all the places yeah that, <laughs> yeah, she no, sounds that, like the, she's victimized the, in the traveling the choices in language there are astonishing because it's you're um, absolutely right Tom. Uh, the a straight sized person which i've never heard that expression in my life a straight sized person hmm. you mean just like a regular size or normal size you can't say that anymore because it implies abnormality yeah and then uh, and then the other part <laughs> being removed from your home well no one took you on vacation yeah. right you're taking yourself yeah no so one forced you're volunteering you to go on a vacation and maybe you should just save up to, uh, you know, to uh, for have a, a, a forklift come by and, <laughs> and take you to where you need to go. Yeah, like, no one's making you go to Margaritaville, yeah. bitch. No, no, you're doing it yourself. You're doing it yourself. And you're right. You should save up, save your ducats to go on a cargo ship. Whatever. I'll say this before Fat you, because I know you're going to read something for us, but I'll say this. This is one of the only times, sometimes we say things... And we give our opinion and, you know, we're comedians. Sometimes we get, we try to do a funny take. Sometimes we do a more real opinionated take on this. I have never seen virtually 100% of people who <laughs> reply go, yeah, I'm, a, I'm completely on board. <laughs> that that <laughs> people like her are, are taking zero accountability yeah. and just blaming, you know, companies, corporations for not taking into consideration. Well, because she went so far as to to say that hotels should build um, chairs that can withstand uh, her rhino. weight. Rhino, yeah, <laughs> I know. Or toilets that can withstand her weight. It's like, yeah, but those are extra expenses that most businesses don't want to incur. Yeah, and but I mean, so what? 
and you're also the minority of travelers, you know? So why yeah. should they? You know, the other thing is that uh, a lot of these places are not accommodating seven foot, foot, foot tall people. <laughs> and they're all, they're there too. So they're every, too. you know, most doorways should be eight to nine feet high. Correct. And um, yeah, that's Everybody just needs so to be ridiculous that they're not accommodating giants. Right. So this just happened. Um, <laughs> How come there aren't signs here in Farsi? By the way, because every once in a while, somebody Persian comes over. And what are they supposed to do? Learn English? Go ahead. You know, I agree. And also, where is a sitcom depicting my life growing up? A child of Hungarian immigrants whose mother remarries to an Indian man. And then I have three Indian stepsisters. I'm not represented in that. Go ahead. Okay. A plus size model said she was denied entry on her Qatar Airways flight because of her weight and was told to purchase a first class ticket instead. Brazilian influencer and model Juliana Nemi, I don't know how to say her name. Does she have food in the corner of her mouth? Was <laughs> apparently ready to board her flight from Beirut to Doha after a vacation with her family in Lebanon when the airplane, sorry, when the airline dropped the news that they wouldn't be letting Nemi Ooh, on we got the flight. A little thing we got to tell you about. <laughs> Here's the best part. Okay, this is. <laughs> You're going to have to spend six grand. Yeah, because she was, quote, too fat to fit in an economy seat. Mm -hmm. Nemi told, uh, so it said the airline told her she would have to spend $3,000. Oh, wow. I just guessed, but yeah. To upgrade her to, her to first class and refuse to refund the $947 she already had spent on her economy class ticket. That part I kind of think is fucked up. That's messed up, yeah. I don't think that's cool. They should apply the difference. Yeah. Like, look, I'm sorry, and, and yeah. you don't fit, but we'll take the difference and apply I don't think that's fair, actually. Yeah, I agree. Um, this is a photo of her. I bet, I bet she was happy with the new accommodations, though. They're like, guess what? Your big ass can take a nap in these. You can actually lay down. You can lay down, Andy. Which is what you do most of the day. Um, okay, scroll here. Yeah. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, here she is here. How... Okay, go ahead. Does she speak? You can't understand yeah, it. Estou deixando esse vídeo gravado. Hoje é dia 22 I mean, de novo. Do you want to read what was she saying? She's a big lady, but she doesn't seem. I mean, I can't see her whole body. I'm curious, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like how she's big overweight, but I'm saying, uh, you know, how big is she where they're like, you have to fucking. Okay, well, okay, ready? Here yeah. we go. This is what she's saying. I bought a return ticket to Brazil through Qatar and arriving at the time to check in, a Qatar flight attendant called my mother while another staffer was finishing our check-in and told her I wasn't welcome to board because I am fat. The caption of Nemi's Instagram post explained that she had flown into Lebanon via Air France and the quote, the flight was smooth, suggesting her weight wasn't a problem. Interesting, through France. Hmm. Mm. However, Qatar Airways seems to have different policies regarding the matter, making it impossible for her to board the flight. After hours of begging, she returned all the bags that had already been dispatched. Return all bags, whatever Nemi shared in the video. Nemi says she missed her connecting flight to Sao Paulo because of the entire debacle. She allegedly spent hours begging to be let on the flight, but claims that the airline staff pushed her out of line. A spokesperson for Qatar Airways explained that Nemi's Nemi didn't share the entire story. According to the spokesperson, Nemi became extremely rude and aggressive to the airline staff when one of the family members showed up at the airport without the required COVID-19 documentation to enter Brazil. Ah. Qatar Airways policy outlines protocol around when a passenger can't fit in a seat and in such a situation, the passenger can be required to purchase an extra seat. So it is a policy of theirs, apparently. And yeah, Qatar's not fucking around. Qatar is not France. That part of the They're like, world's a little different. They're like, yeah. you are fat. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. She's a big, she's, she's big. She's large. Yeah. And I agree, I don't, I don't think she could fit in an economy. It doesn't look like it, you know. Yeah, that's tough. I don't know. That is tough. What about Economy Plus? I feel like, don't they have that in Qatar? Qatar Airways? I've flown Qatar Airways. Lovely. Really? They give you a little fig when you get on. The buffet is lovely. Where did you fly Qatar to? To the Middle East? In the Middle like, East when yeah. I did gigs. They yeah. flew us commercially, the military, and really quite a lovely uh, airline. Really? Good treats. Good stuff. That's considered one of the, the leading, um, like, nice airlines, you know? Like, the... Qatar's up there with like Emirates, Singapore, uh, Cathay Pacific. Like those oh, are yeah. it's one of the really nice airlines of the world. And you want to know something else? Mm. All the flight attendants 
hot as shit and, and that skinny is as what's F. up yeah <laughs> that is what needs to absolutely be the worldwide so policy cathay pacific too you get on you're like jesus <laughs> christ and then they're like i'm just here for your viewing pleasure yeah and then they give you a towel and yeah and they're like that's no, how they are in guitar no gross attendance here and no like, gross yeah here in the states Ugh. like fucking barbara comes down like <laughs> oh shit my fourth flight today i'm fucking tired i'll come back get you guys a drink <laughs> later and you're like god damn Fucking yeah. so depressing. Big old sassy broad. Yeah, sassy ass broad. No Go way. Eat her fucking two piece in the front next to the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Oh, even when we flew uh, in Brit uh, Brit can't British stand, Airways. Can't stand the galley. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Maybe you haven't heard, huh? It's smooth sack summer. When you're playing in the summer sun, make sure you're scaped from pubes to bum. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. The leaders in Below the Waist Grooming are making sure we all have a ball this summer by giving our pants partners everything they need to stay fresh. Dive headfirst into smooth sack summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with our code MOM. I mean, I am somebody who grows hair everywhere. And every time I smooth it out, I feel better, I look better, I look bigger, I probably smell better, and there's a higher probability that there's a mouth going where we all want one to live. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. They have built the ultimate grooming bundle for your summer grooming, including their Lawn Mower 4.0 Trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Tone, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a Travel Bag to hold all your goodies. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOM at manscaped.com. It's smooth sack summer, boys. Get on board or get left behind. Bird dogs make you look good. Bird Dog's stretch khaki shorts are designed to fit slimmer through the leg and thigh, giving you a more sculpted look. Bird Dog shorts do the exact same thing as Lululemon, but fit way better. They'll fit better than regular shorts that are made of stiff, restricting cotton. Bird Dog's fix this issue by inventing cloud knit fabric. It looks just like khaki, but stretches to give you a slimmer fit without having to sacrifice movement. Bird Dog's uses anti-stink sweat wicking fabric that keeps you cool and dry all day long. I love my bird dog shorts. Why? Because they fit great. They look great. You can wear them to go to the store. You can use them for workouts. And they're the absolute best looking shorts you can have on. They give you a, a, a feel and a look that accentuates your, your quads, your glutes. You'll be happy that you have them on. You'll start getting compliments about your shorts. How often does that happen? Go to birddogs.com slash mom for a free Yeti style tumbler. That's birddogs.com slash M-O-M for a free Yeti-style tumbler with your order. You won't want to take your bird dogs off, we promise you. Yeah. On British Airways, they were lovely. Yeah. It was like a Britcom. Like, hello, love, can I get you something? They're like so friendly to me. I was taken aback. I literally was taken aback. I was like, whoa. We're not used to it here. Here, they're, yeah. they're herding cattle. It's totally different. They do not give a rep. You will eat now. <laughs> okay, you will eat now. There's no resting and then eating, and you're like, okay. I know I miss Sir Richard Branson's airline. Remember when he did domestic travel here in the U.S. for a minute? I was yeah. so rooting for him because the, remember the check-in was like cool. There was cool music. All the flight attendants wore the cool red outfit, and they were hot and skinny. They played cool music. The plane was like a, a disco. It was great. It's gone. It's gone. Gone. Yeah. The food was excellent. The service was great. Good yeah. attitudes. Yeah. Fucking gone. Yeah. God damn, American Airlines, not that, just that company. I'm just saying in general, I'll tell you, dog like, shit. The craziest thing about these fat travelers, though. Sure, go ahead, Tom. It, it, no, it's just the, uh, like, it's just the the illusion, like the total Audacity. denial of what's going on is what's crazy. Like, I'm not trying to, like, really, like, lay on them, you know, like, give them a hard time about this. I'm giving them a hard time about the fact they're complaining. No. You know what I mean? That's what's crazy. It's not cr like I we're know. all built different ways. Everybody, I get it. Like we're all, they're short, fat, tall. I'm bald. Like everybody has flaws and, and all this. Shit. But it's like you being like, why? How come? You know why you're having to buy another seat. Right. What are you talking about? Well, you know why they're not making thousand pound reinforced toilets for every, <laughs> like, it's because it's not necessary. But what's necessary is that you fucking drop a couple hundred bills. Like, that's what's going on. Right. And if you're not going to, which is fine, that's your choice. Then stay home. 
either stay home yeah. or be prepared to pay more. Yeah, because and be like, unhappy when you go on trips. Yeah, because you're not being but realistic. Unfor- but she, she literally, she does unfortunately look too large to fit in an economy. Yes, yes, I it's understand. Not happen. And I think it, it's understandable. It's there are people this size, and you know, if you want to travel, I think you should be, of course, entitled to travel. But you shouldn't be like, man, these. These airlines are fucking wild well, with their requirements. I think it does suck to be told while you're at the airport, like, oh, P.S. No. You're too fat. What's fucked up is not giving her a refund for the ticket she has. Yes. That is fucked up. That is fucked up. But, um, you know, or, maybe also skip a couple meals. Like, this well, is a wild. She's very big. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is she nuts. She looks very sick. Yeah. It's not this good. is not. Well, and also, I, you know, and we, I'm, let's be honest. The, the audacity like a, to call yourself a model on Instagram is no, it's, it's insane. Like, it's it like looks really like a, sweetie. It looks like a, a tarp I've seen at the hangar where I go. Uh, I fly aircraft that have covers like that. <laughs> what? We have a polka dot tarp. No, I the- know. I understand. That's probably where she got that from. That is crazy. <sighs> yeah, I get it. Oh, I mean, I wish there were a way. There's an R66. It's a Robinson 66 <laughs> helicopter that has a, has yeah, a polka tarp dot like tarp. that. Yeah. But is there a way that you could be spared the humiliation? Because I, I do agree. Like, remember when she's like, you have to ask for a seatbelt extender. Like, is there a way to not be shamed about it? Like, yeah. maybe when you check in, you go like, hey, are you over 300 pounds? If you are, check this box. And we, yeah. we have to make other accommodations. Yeah. The problem is what people do in those situations is Why? they go. Yeah. No, I'm not. But then you're on the hook for the full amount. And then yeah. in that in that case, I would go, okay, they well, they put then... you on the secret scale. They go, just stand over here. <laughs> and then it's they go, invisible scale. It's a secret scale. You're on, you're 335, you liar. I know. Because yeah. I, I had to check in an oversized bag domestically. And this fucking airline makes you do it yourself. So now I'm like the, the yeah. door, the, the baggage guy. And then it was oversized. Yeah. And I told the truth. I was like, it's yeah. And I check, I handed it in. She goes, is it oversized? I'm like, yeah, it is. I'm not going to lie to you. But how many people would have lied? Probably like tons of people. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, did I was a, really I had, proud of myself for being for honest. For not lying. I yeah. had, a, I had a, a little, I had a little hissy fit in the airport. Do you know oh, that they have, right. um, they have weight limits for international uh, luggage? No. Yeah. For on the, the commercial airlines do. Seriously? Mm-hmm. And, um. Well, I, was, I was like, what? what? It's fucking heavy. Just And they're like, no, it's got to be under, they do it in kilos, but I think it, it worked out to like 70 pounds. And I had a big ass bag <laughs> and I was like, what? So they're like something has to come out of it. And I was like, no. Okay. And so I took, you know, like a shirt out because it was just over. Oh, it was like a, took like a, a couple of things out yeah, and I, and I put it back on there and it was 70.1. Yeah. And then she goes, got to be 70 oh. so i took a sock out and then it, it was like 70 and she was like okay and i was like great yeah you fucking put bitch. my thing in there i'm like what are we even what are you doing with the charade what are you paying for here they're just they're such fuck faces yeah. and if you had just checked in a second bag you could put as much shit you mean like you can check in multiple bags and it's, you a pay. Whole, it's a whole so what's the point I don't know. I was like, you need to accommodate me and my fat friends. This is bullshit. <laughs> How dare you, yeah. sir? Um, well, one of the things I'm doing to celebrate the release mm. of the special, which I'm very excited about. Like I said, I went on a big, long tour, worked very hard on it. I'm very happy that it's out, is that I have signed up and I'm hoping to get through the program quickly and get uh, my motorcycle that you have been... Um, as usual, uh, putting the fun brakes on. Um, I mean, I just. Anytime that something joyful enters my life, you go, I'd like this to stop. So. Babe, it's not, it's not just joyful things. It's like, do you have to choose the most dangerous middle-aged guy hobbies? Like My, my best you... friend rides a motorcycle. How am I supposed to hang out with him? What, you have to do everything Bert does? Who's Bert? Who's your best friend? <laughs> Jason Momoa. Oh, oh, Jason. Yeah, I didn't realize that. He asked me to ride a motorcycle with him. Listen, from Alaska down to the tip of Argentina, I swear to you. He asked me to do this with him. Do you think that's going to be fun? I don't know. Sitting on a motorcycle every day, all day for hours. 
Your dick I'm, and balls are going to hurt and I everything. mean, we're going to stop and camp and shit, you know? Oh, like, my God. Go for it. Good luck. Yeah? I mean, this sounds like a drag. Camping? Sounds... You? Bullshit. Yeah, but Momoa keeps me the four warm. Seasons. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> oh, my God. Babe, are you really going to get a chopper? Is that your next midlife crisis purchase? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'll just tell him to tell me which one to get. I'm just going to be like, which one should I get? What? Come on, man. I'll wear a helmet. I'm not a Babe, jackass. Babe, you know how I feel about these things. That's, these are very dangerous. Okay, what if I do a helmet, jacket, pants, the whole thing? Oh, my God. Fine, Mad Max. You look crazy. Look, we've already done helicopter, yeah. uh, race car driving. Yeah. Um, we, do, we do the cold plunge to give ourselves suffering every day there. Uh, it really changed my day today, honestly. I'm serious. First thing in this morning, little guy woke me up again. I couldn't go back to sleep, so I was like, Ugh. And I got into that fucking 39-degree tub, and yeah. I just was like <sighs> fully you, fully dunked in, yeah. head under. That There's no cup of coffee I like mean, that. Is there, is there, is there, look, I, I get it that you like stand up very risk thrill seeking guy. Is there a limit to this shit? Like, are we ever gonna. I'm getting guns. I got some more guns coming. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, nice. I, I, babe. Uh, All right. Do you, um, have life in, you have life insurance. I do like, have life insurance. Do you have motorcycle actually, insurance. Uh, it, it is. <laughs> An aggressive life insurance plan. What if we agreed on a speed that I don't exceed on the mm, motorcycle? I, you know, I can I tell you something? What? Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> the, the other day, I was getting ready in my closet, like my room, right? I have my makeup in, in my closet. And I hear you pulling your car out of our driveways, just... And then I'm like, oh, he's leaving. Okay. And then about two minutes later, I hear... And I'm like, there he is. He's driving. You're driving up the road like a maniac. Oh, you could hear it. Yeah, because you got out of the driveway yeah. and then you sl you were slow when you had to be to get out of the gate. And then the minute you could, you were like, <laughs> here comes Speed Racer around the corner. I mean, I'm like, this guy has got so many problems. <laughs> what is going on? So many What's problems. What's going on? You, you, need, you, need the, the, you need to feel the wind in your fur. Yeah. You gotta, I think motorcycles might dirt. really satiate it, you know? You think so? I think maybe. Should I see if JJ um, tells me what kind to get? Sure. Okay. I mean, I don't know what's what's more dangerous, shooting guns or uh, the motorcycle. But at least maybe you can go hunting, kill something. It's like so... God, what am I going to do for my midlife crisis? What have I done? Well, I cut my hair. Women do that. That's what women do. I no, know. no, it's already happened. Women change their looks. I they know. just like show up with whole new looks. That's what I did yeah. when I decided I was a French lady with this haircut. The French lady thing's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what can I do for my midlife crisis? What else do we? But do you're not adrenaline women? seeking. No, sadly, I'm not. No, no. Do you want to do um, to get certified to be uh, skydivers? Absolutely not. Okay. I'd rather die. Right. Well, I probably would. I've sky. I, listen, I've skydived before. I've done all these things. All these things. I, well, not not everything, but I, when I did road rules, I did all that stuff, and I, I just don't. It's not for me. Cocaine. Well, I mean, I could start doing harder drugs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah. You want to start doing coke? Yes. Yeah. That there's sounds no, like a plan. There's no dopamine drip like that. I know. Yeah. Start talking crazy shit. Let's do it, man. We we'll talk some shit. You want to talk some shit? Call me. All right. Wait, no, but seriously, what do women do with midlife crises? We get lots of Botox and filler. Yeah. You buy more handbags. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> tits, face, nose. Oh, I just got to get my tits done. That's a big mom move. You got to get your tits done. Exercise. Start a journal or a memoir. Oh, Create a community. God. Uh, Get your pussy worship. Jesus, that's on there. Wait a minute. No, um, not not how to deal with the midlife. But what do women do? No. You seventeen signs you're having a midlife crisis. There you go. Let's see. You're buying stupid shit. You're driving your car really fast. Come on, like I'm the only guy driving. So slow. Well, uh, uh, women. Uh, you're gaining or losing no, no. weight. It, it says scroll up, scroll up a little bit. Women deal with midlife crisis differently. Yeah. So let's let's punch in there a little bit, make that bigger. Midlife crises are common for both men and women. 
middle age, but middle age crisis can present a little differently in women compared to men. When you consider that many women experience the physical changes that come with menopause during midlife, this makes sense. Um, men often feel trapped by life during their midlife crisis. Women's main discomfort often comes from hormonal changes. Oh, in addition to seeing a doctor and learning ways to alleviate symptoms of menopause, Healthline suggests seeing a therapist, talking to friends, journaling, reading. Boring. Yeah, that is boring. And also gay. Scroll down. No, I'm saying like, do we buy cars? Do we I know, act that's what out? I'm, I, uh, yeah. This is not the right article. I yeah. know what I'm doing. You know what I am doing? What? Reliving my adolescence through going to goth shows. You have been doing that a lot, quite. A, and honestly, and you're <laughs> traveling to go to shows. You don't just go like, what's in town? Yes. You're like, I want, I'm going to go to this show in fucking Dallas and in, yes. in London and Denver. Yes. Like you fly to shows. I fly to see goth bands. Yeah. I've been rebuying goth clothing, but like higher end. Yeah. You guys were decked out for that show. Sisters of Mercy. I yeah. know. So disappointing, right? Weren't they terrible live? What? No, I would never speak of them like that. <laughs> um, I did not go to the show. Uh, you didn't. And I know you wanted to so badly. So, no, I know. Yeah, she's like, I'm going to see Sisters of Mercy. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so. I invited you, but then I thought better of it. Because I was like, if this is his first goth show and it's not stellar, I don't yeah. want you to be. And they were good. Don't get me wrong. Who, who would I be? Who would a someone who doesn't like goth music still be impressed by? The Cure. A, the Cure. The Cure, hands down. Puts on a good show. Always and consistently. They did Dodger Stadium and no, it I sounded know. amazing. When like, I was in amazing, LA. Amazing, amazing man. Briefly for Bartrand's premiere, I was driving by the Hollywood Bowl and I think the Cure were there. Yeah. They're yeah. Right? Were fucking they amazing. Yeah. They, they're touring so. right now. Yeah. So they're that was them. such that was a good them. band. Yeah. Depeche Mode, they're not goth, but they're alternative. And mm -hmm. I have tickets to that. Where? Here in, in Here ATX? Here in Austin, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go see that together. Bauhaus, my favorite. That's a hardcore show. Love Bauhaus. <laughs> um, all right, well. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Let me just see something. And like trying to party more. Honestly, I think men feel trapped, but I feel like I want to party because we've had small kids for so many years. You're ready to party. Then I'm like, I'm fucking, let's go to Mexico and do some blow and get some strippers and whores and hookers right back. Yeah. I know. Let's party. I'm ready to fucking party. We could die any minute, bro. Fucking yes. I know. All right. Get that motorcycle. Get two. I'll join you. Thanks for coming. Uh, appreciate you guys. We'll be, see you next week. Oh, oh my God. Well, listen, this is um, a pretty unique thing. <laughs> Um, as you know, with um, our crazy travel and tour schedule, a lot of times we have to record episodes and bank them. Um, but we came in today just for one thing only. We came in because we had to record this segment and insert it into this episode that you're going to be watching right now because last night was what we were all excited about here, maybe what you were excited about at home, it was the game, the game of the century, some people are saying. <laughs> um, it was between uh, our very own Any Kravitz and our own Ryan Hall, two uh, gentlemen that uh, work here and challenged one another to a game of one-on-one. -on -one. One-on-one -on -one is uh, really taking off here at YMA Studios. Um, <laughs> People are playing it, and we're playing with stakes. And uh, as you know, there were real stakes yes. involved in the game last night. The game was played to 11. I played to 21. We'll get to that later. <laughs> um, but these guys played to 11. Play. Looked like they were going to die. And then um, the stakes, if you don't know, the stakes were this. If Ryan were to win, then we would go. And because everybody knows that any shits as often as you have your period which mm. is about once a month once every five months um yeah. that's how often he shits and we've always been fascinated by this the audience has been fascinated by this <laughs> he agreed that we could do a scan like a mri to CAT see scan what's inside of his guts and then <laughs> we would take him to a place where <laughs> They would clean them out. They would do like a colonics treatment oh, where they love suck all the shit out of them. And we would have a party at that place. We would we would sit there and we would eat have chips a viewing party. and salsa and, and <laughs> drink as he had his butthole cleaned and out. And see it come out in the clear tubing. That's which right. Is so rewarding. Yeah. And then if and that was very, a very that's a very exciting prospect for us. And then if any were to win the game, then he would get hair transplants. Um 
and a trip to Vegas where Ryan Hall, who is Annie's boss, would be his assistant on that trip. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to know who won the game, uh, I think we should reveal that and then get into the details. Oh, my goodness. The winner of the, of the game was... Go ahead and... Hey, hey, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wild. Wild. We did it, brother. <laughs> it was uh, it's my guy right there. Um, great student of the game. Um, I got to tell you, I mean, it was, I, I was honestly fired up at this thing. Like there's part of this was just like, you know, we're having fun. It's loose. Guys at the office playing basketball. This was like a whole fun thing to get involved in. It was, I think, great for everybody. Everybody at the office was super stoked about this. Um, you can watch the uh, the recap of it on YouTube. We have a standalone video recapping the whole thing. But we were all jazzed about this. The one thing I got to tell you, man, I got to give you a lot of credit. I was even talking to Ryan about this. You know, Ryan... Um, had a more of a, a basketball background like he yes. played basketball in school and pickup games it was like basketball in his more in his dna and he goes into this thing and i met the guy that he'd been working with um a coach and i was like oh i was watching any warm up and i was like man he's hitting jumpers like he didn't play basketball this is crazy right and i go up to that guy and he goes yeah he goes i got a call from this dude and then he he shows up and he goes, uh, hey, um, I don't like basketball <laughs> and I don't play basketball, but I have to beat this guy at one-on-one, -on -one, so what's up? <laughs> and, and the guy was like, oh, okay. And he goes, and then he just worked every day, wow. every day. And if he had a bad practice, he would then go to the park and play at the park. Wow. And so he was okay. really, really dead. So I want to congratulate you on, first of yes. all, on winning but I mean, it's, I think it's a good, this is why competition is a good thing from time to time. I was telling um, uh, Ryan's lovely lady last night when, before the game, I was like, this is, you don't understand. I go, guys need to do this every once in a while. I can't mm. speak for women. I'm transitioning, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> but I, um, you look great. I go, men, we need this every once in a while. You and she goes, really? I go, yeah, yeah it's good for, here's what, like we used to do, like when I did the Sober October, uh, stuff you know for yes, a few years yes, yes, yes. that was joe rogan ari shafir bert and me and it was the same kind of thing where it's loose it's silly it's fun but there is this line of like we're competing and it does something to you it brings like it brings out something that's usually kind of tucked away unless you're in like if you're an athlete for a living you don't have to approach every day this way right like of like i gotta yes, win yes but when you're doing it amongst friends people you know and care about that that's that's one of the key factors is doing mm -hmm. it with a friend group it just it brings out something in you that i think provides a little spark it kind of sees what's inside it, it puts some lead in your pencil it does it really does and i, I see you thrive with these competitions and yeah. it is friendly but you guys take it very seriously and i must say with any why i had faith in you from the beginning you can play back the tapes I know you it, have my back. I had it's a mental there's a mental component to these things. Yes. Your the mind is very powerful. I mean, you've seen women lift up cars to save children and stuff. It is real. The mind is is the powerful. The mind is powerful. It's it's the most powerful of all. I'll tell you this though, your mind will not win a basketball game. That's and, true. No, and and that's why I I was like I I heard him at the beginning when this thing started. I'm not going to lose. I can't. All this crazy any talk, you know, because he was. Yeah, it's the best. Right away, he was, you know. Because I ain't going out right now. <laughs> he was doing all that shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this shit is big time. But I, I thought that, I thought it was, it was fucking crazy, right? And I, and I appreciate that mindset. That mindset is right. That's how it started. I'm that's saying that's how it started. But see, that yeah. mindset can get you through. You got to run up this hill. Mm. That 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 can do that. You got to do a hundred push-ups because it's it's grind mindset. To win at basketball, you can have that mindset, but you have to have 
you got to work at the skill set. Talking about it's practice. Not a, not, yeah, it's not, it's, yeah, it's not, not enough. Not the game. Not, 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 not the game. You got to <laughs> do it with the actual. Sure. Like, and so that's where I give them a lot of credit because you really have to, you're, you grinding it out and hustling is not going to help you dribble and it's not mm. going to help you like hit a free throw. You know, you actually have to put the time in. And that's what he did. And that's what I want to get. And I also Amazing. told you this last night afterwards. I really do think, you know, you're like, oh, I'm looking forward to fucking laying around and like eating out of the trash again. And, <laughs> yeah, the trash. and I'm telling you, I really think somebody like you needs to find yes. their next challenge. Challenges. And it doesn't have to be beating someone. It can be, but it it should be something that, I think, and we could work on it here at the office if you want. Something that somebody goes, I don't think you can do this. And I think you should accept the ones that excite you to do them because it's good for you. It brings out something in you. You've been healthier than the, you've been the entire time I've known you. Your eyes look so clear. I mean, and like right now, you know, it's temporary, but that hair is about to be real, man. Yeah. That's, the That's best gonna part. be your real look. You next look so year. good. I don't know where you'll be working with that look, but it's it's gonna be. <laughs> you keep saying this, so you're gonna fire me when when I get my reward. Is that what's going down? <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. we didn't talk Super. about that. Huh? Um, <laughs> no, no, you're not gonna get fired. Oh, um, sick. God, they look so good on him, though. They do look cool. They do look cool. God damn, dude. Um, now, I think we should bring in uh, your your chem your worthy competitor, and also. Your boss, Ryan. Ryan, welcome to the program. Um, <laughs> so it was it was an exciting event. Um, Very exciting. You guys, you guys both. I want to. I want you to tell you this. You know how lucky you motherfuckers are that you played to eleven. <laughs> uh, definitely. We we texted each other afterwards. We were like, we'd be in the ER last night if we yeah. were twenty one. <laughs> oh, mean, yeah, that's what happened to you. Yeah. We did. We did to twenty one. It crazy. was fucking exhausting, um, but it was super exciting to to watch. Did you what going into this? Yes, yesterday when you got there, did you, how did you feel? Did you feel confident? Were you like, oh, this is a little different than what I thought it was going to be two months ago or whatever? I definitely felt confident, although you know, and I want to preface by this isn't an excuse but i wasn't prepared for the training and what they did on my body mm -hmm. you know like I, I didn't realize that it's training, a factor it's part of it yeah it's part of it for yeah sure. and i know you know and he'd been working really hard too i also didn't know going in that he'd been training for 45 days so credit to him that wow. he took this seriously yeah he really did that's so sneaky too you pretended like you weren't doing anything <laughs> what i didn't pretend like nothing what you talking uh -huh. about uh-huh yeah. no this shit should be yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was doing his practice. Talking about practice. Yeah. Yeah, but we, I mean, I was telling Annie, like, I, we had to change my whole strategy going in because, you know, I blew up, somewhat blew up my knee the day before and I was hobbling around the, the studio and Nadav was placing bets against me because I was, you know, <laughs> limping. And, you know, we, we had to change. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> But we had to change, you know, <laughs> the guy that was helping me, Max, credit to him, you know, he's just like, look, like you can't do jump shots now. Like you just got to battle and go inside. So we completely rehauled the strategy and, um, you know, it, it, it was the best I could possibly do with what I had. But, and he was a formidable opponent. I mean, I'm so proud of him. He, he knew how to play defense to the extent that this, we'll get to it, the ref, if you want to call him a ref. Um, <laughs> Don't even get me started. No, I love it. I love this. I love this. I mean, my blood's starting to boil. I will, I will tell you this. I, um, you know, I was not the person working day to day with any. Obviously, he, he worked with that. I want to give him credit. What's the guy's name? Uh, his name is uh, Jasper. Uh, Jasper from Freestyle Sports LLC. I call him Jasper the Friendly Coach, a.k.a. Kratos the God, a.k.a. the Beast. You okay. Um, <laughs> God. So... <laughs> <laughs> so Jasper uh, really is the guy who deserves full credit for for, yeah. for training any. But when uh, we got there, I did tell him that from my perspective, the way to that I thought the game would rest on his defense, his defense of you. I go that this you're going to win this game by playing defense. Mm -hmm. And I suggested to him, I was like, you should be all over it. like. 
you should smother the guy. Yeah. Um, and that's that's what I thought the key component to the game was. We 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 covered it, and you know he did. And obviously, yeah, I mean there was some there were some things that just didn't. It was weird that we should have worked out. Well, this this and I'll use this air quotes ref um, uh -huh. <laughs> said that and and Andy and I both. By the way, I mean. We could spend a whole show on that, but we won't. Uh, but Andy and I both were doing the same thing, which is legal, yeah. putting your arm. Yeah. And and that yeah. is a very legal move. And he said, we both can't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. It messed up Andy. It messed up me. Yeah. It, That's it both was, how we trained. It was hilarious. Like when he said that, my heart dropped. I'm like, mm. I, I wanted to say it, but I'm like, I probably shouldn't say this. That was 100% of my defense plan. Yeah. It was Whoa. like keeping an arm up because yeah. the reality is you're bigger than me. You're going to be stronger than me. So you could push back. The only way I'm going to make sure you don't keep distance mm -hmm. is to plant my feet and armbar. And he's like, can't do that. I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know. I think his name's Tony. Um, uh, nice dude. He um, was funny. He, <laughs> he, no, I got to tell you, he fucking, did Fuck I tell Tony. you he pranked me? You yeah. know what he did? Yeah. He, he was so me, proud of that. He was well, he got me so good. <laughs> because in the in the in when the weatherman, you know, David Walter recap video, as a joke, I go, that ref's so unethical. He gave me he gave me a high five during the game. And he goes, at one time I went <gasps> like this. And it was just it's a it's a joke, right? Yeah. He goes, Hey, I got a little bone to pick with you when I got there. Because uh, he was that ref too. I go, What? He goes, You remember your little quip about he's unethical? I go, yeah, he goes. I had to go in front of the board. Stop. And, and oh my god, I'm they didn't let me ref uh, any more high school games this year. It took a lot of money out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I am so sorry. I go, that was a joke. And he goes, that's what I told them, but they didn't care. Yeah. I was like, man, I feel terrible. He's like, ah, I got you. I was like, Jesus oh Christ, god. man. <laughs> like I thought I took food out of his family's mouth for my little job. Like, you should have. You should have taken. Food no, you know what? I. <laughs> I got to tell you this, oh, you can actually use this to your credit for losing the game. I bribed him. I gave him a lot of cash. <laughs> I, gave him, I gave him $41. Um, no, and work. then he goes, do you want it back? And I go, yes. And he was like, <laughs> he's like, really? I go, give it to me. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, no, nah, but it was, look, overall, you know, I congratulate any, I congratulate you for Thank being, you. Uh, uh, I, I know it, it, nobody wants to lose the game, but you were a great opponent. And I do think, think this, right? I think it was good for all of us here. At the, like the, <laughs> I think as a team, it was it was a fun thing like for all of us to be involved. It was in. a lot of fun. It, it really was. And again, I want to give special you know shout out to, to any. I mean, he was not only just obviously a formidable opponent, but such a gracious winner. You know, he he was so emotional afterwards. He and, was. And he deserved it. Yeah. You know, I mean, the guy worked his tail off for 45 days leading up to this. He yeah. played hard. He played, you know, we, we bumped heads once uh, pretty hard. And yeah. we were both profusely apologizing to each other. Yeah. And, you know, so there's a lot of love in the court. But, I mean, you know, his jump shot, it went, I mean, I don't know what your percentage was. We'd have to go back and look. But you made most of your jump shots. That's, it was that's impressive. super impressive. I'm, I'm telling you, it was super. You did not, nobody who has ever been around and played basketball would think that you've been playing basketball, like playing for two months. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah. It was I, very impressive. I appreciate y'all, man. You, you were an insane opponent. I literally used 100, I want to say 200% of my energy to, to make that happen. So you, you did not make it easy. It whatsoever. looked like it. That was it looked like you guys so were hard. gassed at the yes. end of this thing. man. It was so funny because both you and his coach were both like, Come on, he's tired. He's tired, yeah. and we're like, yeah, well, because too, you know what? Like, I think he got tired before you, mm. and then I was like, oh, he's tired. You're not. And then I, literally a minute later, I was like, oh, and he's tired as fuck too. Like, he just I saw it in him, and then I saw it in you, and I was like, oh, they're both fucking exhausted. Yeah, I was out. Yeah, I was out. I'll talk to you about um, some of my hair connections, <laughs> um, yeah, please, and we can set that up. And then, um, you know, you, I guess you guys will report to us on when you work out your Vegas trip oh together. My God. Here's one thing though: Nadav's not allowed to go on the Vegas oh. trip. Okay, mm. it's just. I think yeah. that's only fair. Yeah, yeah, that's only definitely fair. not. No way! You can't put him there. No way! That's you can't crazy. put him in that atmosphere, man. It's too much. What you know? Betting on the game is one thing. Yeah, which he was what, not supposed to do. No. Uh, what if what if what if he just comes and he doesn't gamble? He just no, he's just oh, what's he gonna do? He's Look just, at he's the, my, the sites, the art that's hanging no. up around town. Yeah, yeah no. he's a big he's cultural my, fan. You know, he's my friend. I don't know. I would love to nope. take nope. the homie. I just like hyping him up. Sorry, he's not man. allowed to enjoy it with I'm you. Part I'm of the reason he won. That's <laughs> doubtful. He's got a point. Really? He's got a point. What he, did he do? 
I'm just trying to be his yeah, friend. He didn't, oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't do it. He did not coach me whatsoever. Yeah. But he did bet on me. He did, he, did, he did bet on me. He gave me the confidence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about him? All right. We, um, we got to wrap this up. Congratulations, Annie. Yay, Annie. Good You're job, the champ. buddy. Okay, everybody. Basketball thank you, thank you. champ. In Chamesh, Arba, Shalosh, Stein. Um, we are back. <laughs> Ho- hope that made you feel comfortable. No, feel and so um, uh, you can see our next guest uh, on the Adam Friedland show. You can also get tickets to see him at adamfriedland.com. He'll be in Nashville, Tennessee, July 14th and oh. 15th. It's Adam Friedland, Adam everybody. Adam Friedland. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for coming, oh. man. Beautiful studio. Thank you very much. Thank Beautiful. You. It's nice if you don't live in New York, you, you can just have nice things. Yeah, yeah. right? I feel like that's, that's just like, yeah. It's a trade off. Would you ever leave New York? I, don't, I think I'm kind of like, you know, like when you're like in jail for too long yeah. as an adult, you're, you're institutionalized. Like, you can't live on the outside. I kind of get that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I kind of, yeah. I'm broken. I secretly, I secretly love those lifetime New Yorkers. Like, yeah. um, What's her name? Fran Lebowitz? Yeah, yeah. I kind of look like her a little bit. You yeah. kind of do. Maybe yeah. that's why I'm picking that yeah. out. <laughs> Those people that have never driven Adam, a car. describe yourself. Kind of a Fran Lebowitz. Kind of, kind of a lesbian. Fran, Fran Lebowitz type. Yeah. 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 That's, that's you do look like Fran Lebowitz. I'm really, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, it's going to be a bad moment because I'm a pretty youthful looking adult male mm-hmm. uh-huh. and then yeah. there's going to be a moment where I just become an ugly woman dude and it's going to be brutal <sighs> I can't but wait but you still here's the thing you have time fucking brutal I think you're I'm gonna right dress like that she's got great style she does she have does. great style yeah yeah but you have time that's the nice I thing I hope so I'm 36 I'm, I'm counting it down oh you do look good for your age man yeah, yeah, yeah. I look young. you yeah. look super young yeah 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 but you I'm at, still getting pubes so you at Sweet 60 dog. you're going to be a you are going to be a, a beautiful woman at 60 yeah <laughs> I'm just being fucking subway guard. Look at the one with the pink. That's just literally me. Yeah. That's just literally a picture. Of, it's horrible. It's just me. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, oh my shit. god. And I'm gonna have to like. Yeah. When you get that ugly, you just have to have like 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 opinions on. Things. Yeah. You definitely. I've do. managed to not yeah. have opinions this long enough in my life, and then I have to be like, oh, you know, like. There are only two types of whatever. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pretend you're in a city. That's what she says. When you're in New York, pretend yeah. you're in a city. Just yeah. act like you're in a city. Well, I met. I met. She's wo- I met a. I met Woody. You couple. did. Oh. Yeah. How was that? I sat next to. I sat next to him in a restaurant with my girlfriend, and I turned. I was like, "Well, the 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 hostess was like seating us. She was like, we 'We're full in here, but there's like a wine bar next door,' mm-hmm. and." Uh, <laughs> And uh, and I was like, is that Sunyi Previn and Woody Allen? Yeah, was it? Was it Sunyi? <laughs> yeah, so I sat next to Sunyi oh. and my girlfriend sat next to Woody. I don't know why they put that cross over his face over there. That's How very, dare you? That's very disrespectful. So disrespectful. To a fine filmmaker. Um, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I sat next to them. And then my girlfriend was like, the best advice. She was like, not till we get the check. Yeah. She's like, I'm like, oh, I'm, yeah. I've watched, he's like my favorite. He's uh-huh. my favorite. He was my favorite, like, uh, comedian and filmmaker when I was a kid. And then, uh, and then after, like, so I, I got to formulate, like, my plan of attack. Look at him. <laughs> he's still, he, he's literally, he, like, put on a, like, when they left, he put on, like, a shitty army coat. Uh-huh. And no, I'm like, I'm like, Woody, you're still wearing like that kind of shit. And he's like, she spends too much. I can't afford anything better. Yeah, that's a, like, oh, that's a good, that's good. That's a good. I got one. him. I got him to laugh. You did? I got him to laugh. That's yeah. pretty. What did you, what'd you say? say? Well, okay. So I, I create a plan of attack because she, my, thankfully, my girlfriend delayed me because otherwise I, was, I had to go to the bathroom to like vape three times and sure. cry. Yeah. And then, um, so you're spending this whole meal just planning. I couldn't eat. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, me and my girlfriend were like, we're like performing a date for them yeah you know like so we're like performing like a woody allen like movie and i was just like i was she was being like precocious and 12 and i was being like uh and i, I, I was I no, she's, my girlfriend's not 12 yeah, no yeah. i know but sure. he's always that formula 12. in those movies yeah, too. yeah and then i was like you know i was i was being like a schmuck and then but it was like really cute we were doing great yeah we were, yeah. We were putting crushing. on a show yeah we were crushing and uh and then finally they got the check and then he turned to the side they were also they were like on a double date with like the worst looking NYC like gargoyles I've ever seen in my entire really? life. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then uh and then uh don't believe everything you read, okay? <laughs> Just if you start clicking. There's no evidence. <laughs> no, no. Um 
Uh, and then so it's all sp- <laughs> you're saying that's Frank Sinatra's son. That is not his son. Um, okay, yeah. So so then I like tap Soon Yi on the shoulder because also you know you're like kind of you want to see what it's like. Sure. Because also it's like yeah that was his ex partner's daughter Child, and yeah, stuff and like you want to see like what's this freak show all about sure, right? Yeah. And then like they had like they were like a very normal couple. She was super funny. And like really, like, was? she was really funny, and like, like you could tell, like, it, like intelligent, and like the uh, tap. I will say this: the tap is even bold. You tapped her shoulder. I think that's. Yeah. I tapped her when he like turned to the side. I was like, "Listen, I'm like a massive fan. Like, would he be annoyed, or like, if I if I said hello?" And she's like, "No, he's really nice. You should say hi." Oh, because okay. if I went up and said hi, yeah. It would have uh, my my ball, and he said like, "Don't bother me," or yeah, like, what, yeah. "My balls would have gone into my body." Yeah, it would be like horrible. it would it would have made me feel terrible. I would yeah, have, yeah. Um, and I've always imagined he'd be like, "You're not funny. I hate you." Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you're terrible. Just as you're saying hello, <laughs> <Quit> comedy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I talked to him. I, I hate to him, you. I hate you. <laughs> Hi, uh, what do you? I know who you are, and I hate you. I know you. I hate you. Uh, no, yeah. So he's like, uh, yeah. So we talked to him for like 15 minutes and he was like, yeah, he was really funny. What did you talk about? Well, I was like, like randomly, I was watching fucking uh, Manhattan Murder Mystery two days prior to that, which is this movie he made with Diane Keaton. And my girlfriend was like, oh, Adam was watching one of your one of your films the other day. And he said, like, Diane Keaton's character, like, reminded uh me a lot of my girlfriend because you see you know how like women think they're getting murdered all the time like, yes. You know, yes true crime yes. all that shit yes. like they're like me yes. and my girlfriend i have to like tell her like in the morning when we wake up she like w- wants to like share girlfriend news she wants to be like a baby committed suicide yesterday oh, and i was like no. i don't i don't want to know it's not a nice thing yeah it's just not nice yeah, yeah. I don't want it's just not that. nice you know she's like don't but but isn't it interesting i was like no it's not <laughs> it's not nice when it was dead oh and like, my god just, it was like it's not nice to know it's not i don't need you know i don't need it in my so head, her man. whole character is like she thinks their neighbor is a has killed his wife mm-hmm. and he's like you're out of your mind like yeah. you're like you're you're you know whatever and then it turns out she's right um but he said he was like well that was actually like one of the, one of the most fun times i ever had making a picture mm-hmm. oh. and i was like um because I know, because I've like read his autobiography and stuff, and like I know the timeline. The bizarre thing was that he was being investigated by the state of Connecticut during this time. <laughs> during this time, <laughs> and it was so, such a thrill. And he was like, he's, he's, when they, so the like compartmentalization is like it's incredible. Wow, it must be insane. The, but also, it must be like, oh, it's such a it's such a break from all this this, this tr- all these troubles. You yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. But for I him mean, to say it was one of the most fun times, times fun times ever was yeah. when the district attorney came to my house yeah, yeah. and told me I was going to be locked up. And I got to go and make this, uh, <laughs> this great picture. This great picture. A moving yeah. picture. Yeah, um, he called it a picture. Well, yeah, all, the, all the old timey uh, filmmakers um, say they're making a picture. You know, Scorsese says that. Yeah, picture. Yeah, oh, yeah picture. Because yeah. they're moving pictures. Nick and I saw him the other day, too. That's the nice thing about new, living in New York. What do you guys see? Fucking Elon Musk? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, he's not cool. We get to really, see Marty. He really loved this Diane Keaton. She was in every fucking movie. Yeah. They're, they're right? still best friends. They, they are? are? Yeah, they're still best friends. Yeah. She always dressed like a boy, too. That was her yeah, thing. She's like she really, cool style. She's really yeah. held it down for him over the years. She's always stood by his side. She's like, I don't care who you fucking how old they are <laughs> i'm your pal I'm, i know I'm, she must you made me one of the first manic pixie dream girl okay, fuck the girl scouts i don't give a shit yeah uh, uh yeah so she uh wait where do you see marty because that's we exciting saw Mar- so we went to we saw he's first of all like five foot two yeah oh. dressed so sharp i mean like black suit black shirt yeah just like like looks like a fucking million bucks. I love it. Wow. Just unreal. Just like the the coolest guy of all time. But we went to um a friend of ours works for this guy, Paul Schrader, this, the filmmaker Paul Schrader. Uh-huh. And then we were like inv- invited to a party and then Nick and I were there and we had our like backpacks on and th- we looked up like the address of the party while we were in the Uber and it said um it said assisted living facility. No. <laughs> yeah. We're like, we're going to an old folks home. <laughs> For a party? <laughs> For a party. And I guess Paul Schrader had moved back to New York. He was like living out of the city. Mm-hmm. 
because his wife has uh, dementia, and I think that they moved into um. like this like the nicest one oh. you can find. Okay, and she can get like care there. And then we saw Marty walk in. And we were like, "How? Wait, how? I'm more interested now, though. How was this place that the party was held? Yeah, I how wanna, was? The... I want to move there. Really, like really? that nice? So nice. Is it was it Prime like rib carving station? But wow. oh, was it like God. a resort? Like it was like it was like a it like a, 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 a like an a apartment with a like doorman kind of thing. Yeah, it was like doorman. Okay. Like yeah, that you had to do a rapid COVID test because it's old. Jesus. You know, yeah, they were like uh, yeah, the olds are there. Yeah, yeah, but it's just like it's like where the Illuminati goes to die. Wow. Yeah. wow. It's, it was very. I want to nice. die there, babe. In it, New York I want to die there right now. Yeah, if you don't mind great. writing down some information before go, you yeah. leave. Yeah, it's in Hudson Yards, which is like this new fancy area i that love that yeah, yeah, yeah was there like a banquet hall and a buffet it was like upstairs in like the wow. dining and this is where you saw marty and then marty walks did in you do an approach did you i was like i was like i kind of like shook paul schrader's hand and then like waved at marty and then he, i don't know they were like i i and then he left and then I, and then i tried to follow him. my girlfriend's like what are you doing and i was like i was really just trying to get in the elevator with him I'll tell you this. I'll and just be like, oh, I yeah. didn't see you there because you're so short. You're just waiting. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Kundun. No, I can, no. I'll confess, I had the, um, I was at a party with Larry David and yeah. I was walking by him yeah. and doing the planning phase. Yeah, yeah. And a couple of times I went like, <laughs> and then I, I, I was like, that's not a good one. Like, I was, I, and then eventually he just left this party. Yeah, you that's know? exactly what happened with Marty. Yeah. I was working hard on it. Yeah, I was working hard because you're trying like what? Because uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say something like, so you don't even write the scenes; you just kind of come up on the spot. <laughs> that would have bombed. Yeah, I know. That would have bombed. Yeah, so I was, I was you would have like, been like, like to, "Fuck you!" Yeah, fuck you. You should have just been like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, me too. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but yeah, I yeah I I was gonna be like go up to Marty. I was gonna be like, hey, where are the bodies? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, okay. oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not Italian. I yeah. apologize. Yeah. 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 Oh, you think he would have liked offensive. it? No, no, no. no. Hey, no. Marty. Yeah. Uh, good fellas. Oh, oh. Is that one of those? No, yeah, yeah. No. Fucking Italian. Eh? Oh, you fucking Italian over here. Yeah. Because I know. Because you want to be best friends with them. You want him to be like. I want him to be like Adam. You're amazing. You're the yeah. best, Adam. You're the best guy I've ever met. Yeah. We should. Yeah. We should get drinks sometime. Can I tell you? Yeah. So my friends came to visit and we went to Joe's club and they sat in the green room and Ron White was there. My Canadian friends. Yeah. They're non-comics. They're just nice Canadians. Yeah. And Ron, Ron, yeah, Ron White just starts talking to them and my friend golfs. So he's like, you want to play golf tomorrow? <laughs> my friend was like, holy shit. Yeah. Ron White. Like, I mean, Did how? Did take him golfing? I think the weather, it was, there was like lightning storms oh. so they couldn't, but Ron texted him the next day. Hey, you want to golf? And was like, let's go. He did. Yeah. What a good yeah, guy. Like, he's yeah. so cool. I'm like, yeah. that's a dream. What a great guy. Yeah. yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been just cool. really amazing if you fucking rode the elevator with Mark Scorsese and yeah. you were like, oh, the, the boats are nice. He's like, do you want to go out on my boat tomorrow? And yeah, I would like, love oh, to. Yeah, sure. I would love to. Yeah. yeah are you going to push me off? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to tie a heavy stone to me? <laughs> yeah. You crazy wop. Wow. Yeah. Fucking... yeah. <laughs> Wow, you people aren't white to me. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. In my book, you're not white. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm like, old hey. school. I'm old school. Um, Isn't that funny that Italians weren't white? Yeah, that's what they say. I know. Yeah. Nick Mullen, who I do my show with, used to have a really good joke about the Irish. Oh, yeah? Where he's like, you know, the Irish like to say, well, first of all, the Irish need not apply is not a real thing. Mm -hmm. That's made oh, up. Oh, really? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, Irish people like to say, I'm gonna butcher his joke. Um, Irish people like to say that they're the, they were the blacks of the 1800s, but what about the blacks of the 1800s? That's very that's, oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. they, they also should have something to, to say. The blacks yeah. Of the 18, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the blacks of the 1800s. <laughs> we were the blacks of the 1800s. Yeah, the Italians, are the they're really racist towards the um, Italians of the South. It's it's very regional yeah. there. But yeah. all the all the like. Ellis Island, they were all Southerners. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. but like, you go to Northern Italy, yeah. and it's all blonde haired blue eyed Swiss people, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, which is the best part of Italy. Yeah, that's true. So, um, this is kind of I don't know. Do you think this is racist? The fact that I walk yeah. and say, "Hey, I'm gonna have to jew you down," is not an ethnic slur. That has <laughs> no. nothing to do. I'm not <laughs> referring. Okay, I'm not referring to Duh. the Jewish community. Community. <laughs> community. Okay, I use that term. 
as an adjective, as a descriptive word of bargaining them down. The person I said it to you, I think you or anyone that's watching that knows that. So, yes, that is not an ethnic slur. Yeah, yeah. Dummy. that's the that's Let's the county go. commissioner right there. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. What do you think? I think. Um, listen, you know, we've done all right in this country. You know, yeah. he's not hurting my feelings, but right. you know, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would. I would think it. I wouldn't say it out loud. Yeah. You know, it's that's just like true. us running the media. You can you can say it quietly. <laughs> yeah. Just say it quietly. Come yeah. on. And banks. I like how he did the Clinton. He did the Clinton yeah. thumb. Yeah, that's old school. I forgot about Bill. Yeah, that is right. And making yeah. your points this way. Bill used to do this. Yep. Yeah. And Good I like guy. that he said it's not an ethnic <laughs> slur. I'm just saying that you guys don't like paying full price, and that's what I'm trying to say. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was in a room full of comedian friends. We were all drunk. I'm not going to say anyone's name, but they were all like, I thought I, I wasn't. I mean, I it was the bit. It was like, oh yeah, you guys are so annoying. I was like, I know we're annoying, but whatever. And they were like, yeah, but like, <laughs> I know we're annoying, but and then I was like, what? <laughs> Nadav loves this, but they're like, um, yeah, like we all know how you became successful is by giving each other zero interest loans. And is that I was true? like, and I was like, I was like, do you guys think that? And they were like, everyone like looked around the room. They were all, they all like nodded. Yeah. They're all like, yeah, we all know how they give each other zero interest loans. What? And I was what? like, Jews would literally give predatory loans to their mothers yeah. like, <laughs> you think we're all helping each other out we're scoundrels <laughs> just hooking each other up with these zero interest we loans. all know about the zero interest loans yeah, <laughs> yeah man this, uh, these interest rates don't affect you guys not yes. at all yeah not at all no um nadav um you never told me you had zero interest loans it's not true. It's an inside thing. It's uh, we talk about it at the meetings. Adam, I haven't seen you at those before, though. I don't know. They, they haven't. You know what? It's because I local. go to the New York chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go oh, to the New yeah. York Wait, chapter. Wait, can I ask you something legit? He's president though? of the Texas chapter. Can it's I ask you a cool. super, super stupid question? Like I, I always can't ask? wait. Yeah, sure. I mean, do Jays not hook up other Jays though? Like in my in Hungarian Eastern Bloc community, you hook up other Hungos. I mean, I prefer not to. No, that's more immigrant. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Jays don't hook up other no, Jays? No, we're not nice to each other. <laughs> we're what? not nice to each other. No. That's no. terrible. Like, maybe, maybe if you see them in the wild. Like in LA and in New York, we're not helping each other. But like in Texas, you see another Drew, you're like, oh, all right, maybe. Yeah, you're like, all right. <laughs> Look at that. Look how big everyone is. Yeah, I mean, how yeah. many people <laughs> would you have to fucking help out in New York if you were like, I'm hooking up other Jays? Yeah, you have to <laughs> hook up the city. That's like, true. Yeah. Too many Jays to hook up. I mean, yeah. I think like maybe the Chassids... <laughs> When they're like, you know, is that how you say it? I didn't know. It. Yeah, maybe they Hustles. are like when they're like, you know, owning slums all over New York City. <laughs> they're probably hit, hooking each other up. Yeah, with the proceeds of the slum money. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not part of that. I'm not. I don't have a. I'm not cooperative enough. I guess. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Damn. Let's okay. uh let's cleanse the palate here. All right. Oh no. All right. No, no. Let's go. Look at me. This is nice. <laughs> this is just nice. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the face. Yes. <laughs> 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 I love it. Oh man! For if you're listening, there's a horse that's having a great time with its caretaker, uh, uh, cleaning its underside. <laughs> Making it She's clean. She's just scratching his belly. No, yeah. She's yanking his cock. <laughs> She's <laughs> yanking his dirty horse cock. Reality no. is what you make of it, you know? <laughs> I love the smile on her face. Yeah, yeah. she's so pumped. Well, dude. can you re- imagine making something that powerful come? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is thing. loving it. Of so course. Much. She's like, my ex-husband, when he sees this, he's going <laughs> to hate it. Well, she's, yeah. She's, I found a new man. <sighs> she's, oh, she's so done with men, you know. She's, I'm done with men. They're trash. They're trash. <sighs> okay, babe, next clip, please. I mean, you've, of course, seen the most famous of the. Yes, the guy know, that gets fucked by Mr. Hands. Mr. Hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone knows his name. Yeah. The man's a star. <laughs> he's a star. <laughs> Legend. I mean, <laughs> He, yeah. uh, 
The thing is, uh, I, I, you know, you have to tell people if, if you watch Mr. Hands, which you should, if you haven't seen it, you if just, you, haven't, if yeah. you haven't seen it, go to Mr. Hands. Just know that in that video, he, do, he doesn't die after that video. <laughs> he died when he went back and that horse wasn't available. Mm -hmm. And then he went to another horse that was nicknamed Big Dick. This is all, and you can see this all in the report. He went back, and he had never fucked. God. He'd never been fucked by a big dick, and that horse perforated his colon, and he died from the internal bleeding. Yeah, yeah. But it's a beautiful. The first one that is, it is actually really special. Have you not seen it? No, I've seen it. I remember Evolve. it from two thousand eight. Yeah, like I, it's still fucking here. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're, it's you're, right fresh. You love cinema. Yeah. You love it. A picture, you're, you're and I love that Tom has done the in-depth dive. Yeah, well, the case. I mean, it's tragic. I mean, he died for his what he what, what he, he loved. loved yeah. I know. It's a great year making that picture. It's kind of like <laughs> so. they should do like an ESPN his thirty picture. for thirty. They right? absolutely yeah. should. Actually, we should do that. Do you remember the Matt Hoffman one where he just like kept almost dying, and his family's like, "Please stop like trying to go so extreme," and he's like. I gotta just go extreme one more time. He'd like go into comas for a month. No, which way? Wh who did this? Matt Hoffman was like the BMX guy. Oh, and he just like his face. He was just putting them through hell. And he's like, he has a very flat affect, and he's like, yeah, I gotta go again. <laughs> yeah, just one more time. Yeah, you know, those those dudes really are the yeah. the. They don't get credit for. I think. Because those sports are less popular. Those are the craziest athletes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Guys that do that shit. Those yeah, are the like wildest. Their skulls get fractured. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, even when Tony Hawk was on like here. A, on a small bike, too. Yeah. Like, BMX bikes are for, like, baby bikes. They're, like, for little kids. <laughs> yeah. It's so crazy. That they do. When Hawk said he, you know, he broke his femur, mm -hmm. and he's over 50. And, like, most people, like, the great majority of people would be, like, hanging it up. You know? Hmm. He just gets... Put back together and is like, and I was on the board. Or hold on, or these... like middle-aged guys playing basketball and having freak accidents, and then going oh, on to do things oh. like I don't know, helicopter piloting, race oh. car driving, How is that and the then same? chopper riding. How is I don't that know. The same? It just sounds a little crazy. But like that's not the same had at all. A, a life-changing accident. Have accidents playing basketball all the time. It's yeah. a yeah. dangerous sport. It's a dangerous. But wait, sport. how is being a, a cool. skateboarder the same as driving? Or just, but your your argument was that. The yeah. accident should deter you from future mm -hmm. things that perhaps might cause free that injuries. Is a, that is really, it was a bad injury. It was a bad injury. It was a bad injury. Yeah. It looked bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It looked bad. <laughs> it, was bad. It, was bad. <laughs> it was bad. 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 But <laughs> but you made your career, you know. Yeah. Well, he had a career before. No, Adam. no, no. But he now you made did. you cemented yourself. You, that that shot through the stratosphere. Yeah, was, that's yeah. why you did it. I've been thinking about getting my dick cut off. Yeah. <laughs> you should try it. Yeah. 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 Just for the show. Do it for the show. For the Do show. it for the Adam Freeman yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. Um, very funny, by the way, that you. I, you do a very unique show. Like it, it's Thank unlike you. other people's. No, it's like Thank you. I think there's almost no new, like something that's starting. It's everybody's just like it's me and my friends, and we just hang out. And you're like Jesus, you can't like. Do well, we that. did that for seven years. I know, yeah. but like for to do something new, yeah, it's yeah. like it's um, I it's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you haven't checked out the Adam Friedland show, check it out. Yeah, um, yeah, we're the, really excited about it. We just got we kind of got sick of, I don't know, like we're still podcasting. Yeah, to pay the bills, but. We kind of do want to like, I, I think the intention is becoming clear. I think people thought we were doing like an ironic talk show, but <laughs> Nick's, Nick's always said like, we want to ironically do a talk show. Like we want two, the two biggest morons yeah. from the <laughs> dumbest, from literally the lowest common denominator podcast ever, a podcast for a for ugly men <laughs> like with like with like men who like rage quit Call of Duty and then hurt themselves, uh -huh. you know? Um, we want them to like accidentally make a professional yeah. <laughs> late night talk show, which is also a very stale medium too. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been, do you, uh, I mean, I'm only saying this cause it. you guys, you know, do your own version of it. Don't do you feel like that we'll see, uh, a shift in the way talk shows are done at some point? Like, doesn't it feel like you guys have to do something different? It's, it's, biz they are bizarre. It's They're bizarre. Like relics. Now. Yeah. Yeah. It's they bizarre. don't fit into, like even like coming out. How's everybody? You know, with a studio audience. Yeah, yeah. Just like the the, clap, the yeah, format yeah. of like in that monologue. 
then we'll be right back. And then there's a, a, a bit like they're all the same. Uh-huh. This, they follow the same uh-huh. thing. Person comes out and now there's podcasts. So you actually hear people have conversations, Yeah, but they're like, oh, we're going to give you three minutes on the couch. And like, Adam, I heard uh, you never will leave New York. <laughs> yeah. You, go, I, you know, I ran into Woody Allen. And they're like, thanks mm-hmm. for coming. And you're like, this is so, it's such a weird. It's so contrived. fast. Yeah. It's like radio. And the band guy's <laughs> laughing. Oh my God. They need to bring yeah. Kevin Eubanks back. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jay. <laughs> the best in the biz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You crazy, Jay. <laughs> Jay. Jay. Yeah. Jay. You oh, wild, man. man. You wild, Jay. Um, guys that are ugly and yeah. are looking for love. Have you? This is for you oh. American men, mainly mm-hmm. middle-aged and older. Mm-hmm. Those of you men who are single, tired of being alone, tired of being not just rejected by American women, but not even noticed, not even seen not even acknowledged, tired of feeling like a nobody, feeling invisible, tired of beating your brains out and killing I yourself, say beating your dick. trying to yeah, get that too. American women at least interested in you, tired of feeling like you don't add up. Okay, to okay. No, I know. Let, 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 let him self-loathe. Jeez, yeah. Then stop trying. Huh? Stop trying. <laughs> Instead, go to the Philippines. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's a very good point. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a review. <laughs> I thought there was going to be like some beautiful woman. Oh, oh there, there is. is there in this one? Not in this one. There's not. No, there, she hates him. Oh, yeah. Have you watched Ninety Day? Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It really is like uh, incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, the delusion. It really is incredible. That's what it is. The, well, it's like you end up hating to you do that. end up hating the Americans and just loving the foreigners. Of course, even like the Russian girls who are like, "I'm only here for money." <laughs> yeah, and like I go back to Russia if you don't give me more money. Like, <laughs> but it's an exchange, yeah. right? Like they're hot Russian chicks. Like they're she far. doesn't want to live in a trailer in the middle of Alaska, bro. Like yeah. hooker shit. That's up. always so sad when they go to a shit town. Oh, it's the worst. And they just arrive for the first time. Yeah, and they think it's like they're going to like Manhattan. Or I know. Something. Isn't that funny <laughs> though? What? They just go to like a, a farm, a pig farm. Yeah, 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 that kid was the worst. Doesn't remember? part of you? It's like it's maybe the most prideful we feel as americans you watch that and you're like take her to a better city man yeah, just like, yeah. fucking, oh, someone like someone from <laughs> chicago fuck this chick like let her see something cool you know this shit sucks like we have better stuff than what he's showing you <laughs> i'm fucking i'm a fucking patriot yeah yeah we yeah. gotta save these chicks yeah bro, we bro. gotta we gotta bring them to real cities um remember that like russian chick that like hot russian chick and she went to the farm with that young yeah. boy who was like 18 years old Ugh. and lived with his family. And they're like, you're going to wake up at 5 a.m. And, and feed the pigs yeah. and feed the animals. She's she like, I'm like, not going to wake up early. I didn't yeah. come to America to feed the pigs. And oh, I want to live in a city. I was on her side 100%. A thousand percent. Yeah, she yeah. should. Yeah. And he was too much of a pussy. She's to be like, like, I had to leave mom, Chernobyl. Yeah. 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 Because everyone's getting cancer every six months. <laughs> yeah. Now to come to go to this, this dump. And then the parents Probably were like, back and don't cancer. fuck in the house either. Oh, yeah. Know? They wouldn't let her fuck. Yeah. That yeah. was stupid. Oh, that, this, this one on the top left, that guy, that guy, that couple was. I that's a cool. This one. That's a oh, cool that guy look. looks like he lost weight. I think he went to jail. <laughs> this guy did? I think he did for like. Uh, dr- Is that the same guy? No, that no, guy yeah, did. Yeah. The guy next to him went to jail, remember? <laughs> Varia surprises Jeffrey. That guy has. Violence. Oh, remember? that guy did go to jail. Yeah. yeah. He's gone to jail. He's also gone to jail multiple times, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Apparently, there's right. been a run on Ukrainian brides in China. Ooh. Oh, really? Because they, in China, they're considered to be the most, um, like, have the most, like, have the, the most beautiful and the, uh, the most resistant to feminism are the <laughs> that's what that's what they say. are the Ukrainians the Ukrainian of Ukrainian course. women yeah they're yeah, most beautiful the and most opposed to feminism I cook for men's no problem yeah, yeah. that's really nice sounds, make him happy awesome. yeah make him come seven times a day <laughs> yeah remember that that's that lady she's yeah. like my guy nuts she was like yeah six seven by the way nuts. Rob Eiler listened to that and he texted me he's like you guys failed to mention that it's not intercourse she's talking about. She's just like, Nut. she sucks his dick seven times yeah, a day. Yeah. And he's like, I could be okay with but that. But I also found out that, that she was, it was a bit, that, that chick was not, it wasn't real. What? She was so she's a, a liar. Yeah, she's you a liar. You just broke my she heart. Came to it my, broke my heart more. She I came to my nuts. fucking country. Yeah. yeah. She came <laughs> to my fucking country to lie. <laughs> It's fucked up. <laughs> it is fucked up. It's not it's acceptable fucking... either. 
Hey guys, where are you gonna get this? Oh, oh here, never in the U.S. Say hola, mi amor. Hola. Look, Colombia. Ugh. Ugh. I love it. He went there for teeth too. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I was actually for a while on Instagram looking at like uh, Latin American, uh, like, uh, like dental mm -hmm. uh, tourism. You can go and get veneers, but he clearly got veneers and a woman. Yeah. Oh wow! He knocked, two birds, one stone. Yeah, those are so white and big, though. It's so funny when people so get old. them. Well, are you you're ready like, for you're a new guy? We have to act like you're different. Yeah, I mean, he, he, the <laughs> teeth like you're not different. The yeah. teeth are insane when you go <laughs> when that you get big, them that big, and that white. Yeah, they're yeah. too white. They're too white. Yeah, they're too <laughs> white. Human teeth aren't like that. No, <laughs> and at your age, guess what? They're <laughs> less white. As you age, they're gonna yeah, be yeah. a little duller. Like, he's well, just, just walking around like, no, nah, like there's fucking lights coming out of his mouth. Yeah, just whiten what you have. I yeah. feel like that's the move. Well, are you ready for a new? I love Colombia. A new country. I hate how he says it too, Colombia. A, a new country. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. I love hey, these cool guys. Oh, I'll give you one of these, these are first because I know you want this. I love Colombia. Okay. <laughs> I love that. All the American men out there. <laughs> You need to go to Uganda and get you oh, a pearl. Yeah. Wait, that get looks like what's queen. his name? That's what you need. These American women, they're, they're not no good. Get you a woman from Uganda. <laughs> I'm telling you. She's this is my she third is. time they're... telling you what to do. Oh, I do. thought he was going to tell you. American men, please, this is a dating tip. He told tip, him three times. I'm telling you for the third and final time. Go get, but you can't have her. I She's like mine. Uh, <laughs> this one is all mine. <laughs> LOL. I like that he's talking in black scent. But like, yeah, because his wife yes. is black, but she's from Africa. She's from Africa. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need to get you a uh, uh, Ugandan you, wife. Ugandan woman. This was mine. He's doing Cat God. Williams. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. He looks cross-eyed a little. So too. basically, is he cross -eyed? if you're struggling, there are three countries for you. There are three. Well, the yeah. Philippines. Hierarchy is the Philippines. Colombia. And Uganda. And don't forget, North Who Korea. does he look like, this guy? He looks like the yeah. other John Candy, like the other guy that used to get cast as the fat guy in movies. Yeah. What's his name? Fuck, it's going to drive me nuts. I don't have my phone, but um, we'll, we can, we'll, we'll remember. Like we'll, a fat 80s guy? We'll put it in the show notes, guys. We'll put it in the show notes. <laughs> yeah, this is um, yeah. John Candy. Oh, Jesus, no, no. All right. Well, she um, is very pretty, and she doesn't look like she's being held against her will. Which the Philippines and I, the I, one prior. I think quite literally she is. Look at his arm. <laughs> he's just gripping on <laughs> yeah, her. Yeah, he's not. She's being held. I love you. I don't lot. know. I, yay, yay. He's so <laughs> gross. These poor Ugandan women. It's got to be bad in Uganda yeah. if you think this well, is. Yeah, the fucking... they got Chelsea, Chelsea Handler specials about Aww. that. <laughs> huh? They got Chelsea Handler specials about that. <laughs> Is that what it's about? I didn't. I didn't watch it. Is it about getting a wife? I think so. Yeah. She went to get she a wife. She was about that. She, yeah. Yeah. You got it. You know. You're gonna be you're kidding die, me. You're gonna be kidding me. <laughs> That's right. Uh huh. Oh fuck off. Oh what is fuck that? right off. I think off. it's a condom. I'm not for watching her mouth? this. I think so. Let me see. No, you know what. Why can't people just be have nice? Why can't things be nice? <laughs> Why can't things be nice? Adam, I don't I like it when you. things aren't nice. I know, no. I don't like not nice either. I agree. I like it when things are nice. Like consensual yeah. and fun. No, just life in general. I know. I yeah. remember at the beginning of COVID, I was like, my, I just, I prefer it when things are nice. Mm -hmm. She's struggling. It seems like things aren't nice right now. Can we show this nice. one? I don't know. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, we can show that. We'll show it to channel members. <laughs> what did she I don't say? like this. I went down my windpipe. That went down my windpipe. Oh, I thought she sounded like a... Well, yeah, for yeah, people I, listening, I so too. they put yeah. an apparatus around her mouth and then they, they took a, a used gag. condom mm -hmm. and slingshotted the used jizz into her uh, the, yeah. into her mouth. And I then, think if they were listening, they could have pretty, I don't pretty know. much figured that out. I mean... I think I think they, <laughs> yeah. I want all my one pop. <laughs> that's pretty good. Was that pretty good? good? That was really I've good, been actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've been you choking me with your cum. Yeah. Yeah. Then you do it to me. I practice. Well, I don't like to just mock men like men are bad. Yeah. You know? yeah. 
Some of these women are <laughs> equal opportunity. Trash too. As you may have heard, I am looking for a candidate to get me pregnant with twins in April or May. And uh-huh. if you would like to um, apply for that, Let's you go. should be very spiritual, very grounded. Your DNA should be completely activated. You should eat a clean, natural diet with no processed sugar, no processed food. You should meditate every day, exercise every day, and um, have healed many lineages yeah. Yeah. of trauma in your oh. uh, in your current incarnation. Okay. All right. You're cool with that? I do want to say that all genders are welcome, but you uh, will have to have sperm in order to impregnate me. Uh, maybe in the future, mm-hmm. things like that won't ne- be necessary, but that's where we're at mm-hmm. currently. Oh, and when you send in your qualifications, whatever those qualifications may be, send a picture too, because yes, we're a little bit shallow. It's happening that way. You know, I have to look at these mm-hmm. children. I don't want them to be ugly. I'm, no offense. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with ugly people. Um, but maybe, you know, if you are truly aligned with cosmic radiance, you will be beautiful. Uh- <laughs> She's awesome. She, can I tell you, Adam? I, I do feel her. like this specific type of crazy exists more in New York than anywhere else. I uh, feel. Yeah, I, I may, not in my neighborhood. Yeah, but these have all. You just have. You have a lot of maybe crazy. Bush, crazy. crazy. A lot of Bushwick, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You have, yeah, a, lot you have a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. I I I moved to I moved to a nice like uh, Hillary Clinton like people that are sad Hillary lost still. Oh na- really? Neighborhood. Still and it's sad. awesome. No one knows what hometown is. It's amazing. There's just like you know strollers, she persisted stuff. Yeah, it's just nice. It's amazing. <laughs> I just like it when things are nice. Yeah, yeah. You really are into the nice. You I nice? love nice. Yeah. What is what? But when th- things are bad, that's no, awful. No, no. But I mean, I just didn't know how much that appeals to you. You know. Yeah. 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 I don't like uh like the yeah. I don't like it. Like Bushwick. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. I mean, terribly. No. Oh, Google it's, Bushwick. It's, it's like the fucking. Uh, it's like the Ellis Island for people with nothing to contribute to society. Jesus. Your parents have money. It's a it's a money neighborhood now. It's like yeah, basically like yeah. It was people go on, like like uh fucking German people go on graffiti tours there. And they're like oh see oh look at this this is nice. <laughs> like they get tour guides to do this is so shit. It's shit. It's crap. Just go a place and it's nice. <laughs> so Bushwick was a, a a notoriously rough neighborhood. Yeah, and then yeah. it like it gentrified and, and then it gentrified and then it became like. Uh, yeah. Now it's this the, shit. It's this shit. It's the most annoying people. See, what part of Brooklyn are you in? I'm in Fort Greene. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Very no, nice. it's just like it's uh but see, it's Adam, Brooklyn. This is how I felt when yeah, I Yeah, it's just like it's just like a nice neighborhood with nice people. But this is how I yeah. felt about Look, like Williamsburg so nice. and Greenpoint. Yeah, it's just nice. They're trees. That is nice. Yeah. But I liked it better shitty. Uh, parts of Brooklyn. You like the shitty parts better? Like, but back Greenpoint, like yeah, but she's when also, it was Polish you know, sausage. I well, Greenpoint, yeah. But those guys used to fucking, those guys used to get drunk. My friends all moved to Greenpoint before I moved to New York. Like my friends from college, and those guys, they had literal skinheads in that neighborhood. Oh, and they would like come up to me and they they'd get wasted and they'd be like, "We put you on train," and I was like, "What?" How did, wow, and they're like, Germans how did, how too. Could, how could you tell that? They, they, <laughs> how could you tell that? Sir, do not assume. Do not assume. Well, that, that's the best part. They're no, like, no, "Fuck that, Jews." But... One of them came up to me once and said, "Are you a metalist?" And I was like, "What is a metalist?" Yeah, what is that? Like, do you like Megadeth, Metallica? Oh, he said he thought like a metal head. Oh, but was a metalist. A yeah. metalist. <laughs> You're like, are you, I work with sheet metal yeah. and iron. Yeah, yeah I, I was so. Confused. Are you a metalist? Was yeah. that like? Do you think the question was asked because if you are, then you're cool? Like, is that what the intention was? Yeah, I think that yeah. he thought it was cool. Did you give him a yes, like a fake? Like, oh I yeah. Said, I said sometimes I've heard yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Is he really stoked? Thing. I like it when songs are nice, actually. Yeah, songs nice. are nice. I like it when songs are nice. So what do you like to listen to? Me? Yeah. It was nice. Nice stuff. Yeah, yeah. just nice. nice. Stuff. Just nice. Kind of uh, shows you watch. Nice shows. Um, and nice stuff. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Movies? But sometimes, yeah, I mean, like, I could watch a movie where something not nice happens. Do you like bummers? Like white bummers? Like um, like what? Like, Whale? You know. I didn't see it, but I heard Brendan was, was fantastic. Yeah, but yeah. I heard it was a bad movie, but... The phrase really crushed it. Of course. Yeah. But like, you know, just like sat, like movies where like, you know, everyone gets cancer, happen. the kid is lost. Crippled. And, you know, I mean, if it's a good guy, movie. He I mean, lost both legs, but he's going to do this triathlon anyway. Kind of if thing. they're doing that, just 
because if they think that it's going to be a good movie because of that, then no. Yeah, like poverty porn or something yeah. is, is not. Yeah, I mean, like I when I whatever, but like you know, sometimes that could be nice. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's nice. As long as it's as nice. As long as it's nice. As long as it's good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, I have been watching a lot of uh, romantic comedies recently. Really? Yeah. Like, um, something's got to give. I Those love movies, that one. It's so good. I love that one. Uh, it's complicated. I love that too. Wow, you and I are in the I same. I really like these movies. I it's love so that. nice. The thing that's nice about these movies is that yeah. they, their lives are nice before the movie. Their houses are nice. Yeah, those beach houses. <laughs> like they're in the Hamptons. God, you just made me th- realize something. It's just nice. Yeah. I got to say it too. Yeah. I like nice stuff in movies too. It's really I, yeah. nice. Man. Yeah. I don't want to see charming. a rundown shitty place in a movie. I want to escape a little bit. Show yeah. me in, like, I want them to, I mean, I'm saying I'd like yeah. them to, to live, uh-huh. see the main characters in a nice home and yeah, things are clean and nice. It's complicated. Is uh, I, That's with Meryl Streep with Meryl and, Streep. and Baldwin. The whole, I love the, it. the whole plot complication at the beginning of the movie is that she love wants it. to get her dream kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She wants to get the kitchen of her dreams. That's yes. it. That's it. And then she starts sleeping with her ex-husband again, and it gets really complicated. Yeah. And then her architect, who's doing her new kitchen, uh, Steve Martin, he's he's the right one for I her. I love it. But then the bad boy, uh, you know. And then the ex-husband's a bad boy, yeah. And then Alec Baldwin shoots her. <laughs> and then, <laughs> The funny thing about that movie is every time she's touched by a man, she's like a woman of a certain age, and every time she's like like yeah. brushed past, she's, she's like, like well, she comes. Yeah. She's yeah. like, ah, oh, she can't ah, handle it. Oh my god, <laughs> everything's so, it's been new. so long. Yeah, it's been so long. And I, you know what I really like about this movie is that I like that she bakes things. She's like, I'll just bake you some chocolate croissants. That's also nice. Yeah, like that's who very nice. Want that? She makes a really nice croque madame. Yeah, in that one scene. Yes. It's really nice. She bakes. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It's so pleasant. Somebody that bakes, a nice lady that bakes for you. Oh, That's my all I, God. Anybody, I can't, so this is who I want is my mom, her, and Blythe Danner. But I want Meryl Streep in It's Complicated or Blythe Danner in anything. Oh, my is God. to be my mom. Mm. Yeah. And Alec Baldwin is so funny in it. It's so, so funny. good. It's so good. It's so good. I've been, my, I've, I've been going on the road with my friend Caleb a little bit, and he's been featuring for me. And we found out, like, we're kind of like having one of those conversations, I was like, you know, honestly, these are the kind of movies I like. <laughs> and he's like, honestly, he's like, You've Got Mail is my favorite movie. I was like, oh my God. I was like, it's literally also my favorite movie. Oh my God. Can I tell you what my favorite movie? There's a few that I will watch all the time. Legally Blonde. If that's on, really? I have to stop what I'm doing. For me, it's You've Got Mail. Such a good movie. It's so good. And, um, bring, and bring nice. It On. Have you seen Bring It On lately? I haven't seen it recently. No. I mean, for I could this, watch the Clovers do cheerleading all day. For uh, Capital J in there, it's uh, Drumline. Oh, fucking Ooh. Drumline. Yeah. Drumline's Ooh. great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll stop what I'm doing if it's on. <laughs> yeah. He's still, still with the Drumline. <laughs> it still stands up. Like, there's some movies where, like, that's so outdated. Yeah, no. All the themes, still yeah. pretty good. Still hits. Teaches you how to be a man. Mm-hmm. And Nick Hannon really learned how to do it, or? He brought, yeah. he brought it. I mean, well, it's, it's cool because, like, he can't read <laughs> music he in can't the movie. He can't read English? And then he learns to read the music. <laughs> Is he it's illiterate? A whole, uh, w- with music in the movie, yeah. Oh, Can't he's illiterate it. at music. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was like Floyd Mayweather. Have you heard that clip of him trying to read? <laughs> it's very funny. I remember because there's nobody. It is very funny. There's nobody funnier in talking shit and trolling than 50 Cent. And at, you know they used, the to be, they used to be like good friends. The ice, the ice bucket challenge video. And then the, yeah, and they. If you could read one page of a Harry uh, Potter book. Yeah, he's like, I'll give if you put that shit, I'll give a hundred thousand. He's like, I'll give a million dollars if you can read one page. <laughs> it's fucking so hilarious. He is, he 50 is. Fifty Cent is he's unbelievable. It's unreal. the second one. Real. It, oh yeah, that it's that one. Yeah. The computer, the computer say, Floyd say, fuck Ti, fuck Nelly, fuck Fifty. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Then I fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance. You say fuck that nigga. This is a special ASLELS challenge for you, Floyd. If you can read one full page of a Harry you didn't Potter say book, ALS. Nigga, I'll give 750000 to whatever charitable organization you want to. Fuck the bucket of ice, man. <laughs> a phone call from my man Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy said if Floyd accepts the challenge, then he'll put it on the actual show. So you can read it on the show. We don't want to put pressure on you. 
We know you can't pronounce those words in that Harry Potter book, <laughs> so we're going to let you read Cat in the Hat. <laughs> I mean, dude. So mean, oh, dude. So it mean. so mean. It's so mean. <laughs> it is so good. Yeah, 50, definitely. He's unbelievable. Unreal. He's unbelievable. Damn, dog. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm going to jail. I love I'm her. I'm going to jail. I just sent the Ohio Department of Unemployment a bunch of pussy pics. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You want to know who I am? Why don't you come visit me in person? I'm not no fucking bot. <laughs> I'm a real fucking human being. Here I am. Why don't you inspect this pussy? That's, she is wow. the man. She's pretty incredible. She is awesome. Why do women in the Midwest just get that haircut? I oh, know. <laughs> Why do they get that haircut? Do you, uh, Christina? They all usually become, says they all it's, become like, like you know, like that. That it's yeah, to shut it down. It's to shut it down. Yeah, so, it's, it's so, a wrap. Yeah, yeah. It happens, it's a wrap. It but happens, she's still throwing this pussy around town. That's what's interesting, that's interesting about it. Yeah, yeah. She got that haircut, but she's still tossing yeah. this pussy around to government agencies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite a dichotomy. She's still, this one. She's still the Ohio Department of Education. She's she still very she much like, in the game. Here's my pussy. But no makeup and re- no semblance of femininity whatsoever. Yeah, they just like yeah. they get hard. Yeah, yeah. they get yeah. hard. Yeah. She is hard. Because yeah. I think women realize at a certain age that they don't have to do much. That there's going to be a guy out there for you in the yeah. world. Like we tr- we've been trying too hard our whole lives. You don't have mm-hmm. to try that hard. Yeah. There's someone out there that's going to think she's amazing. And the I, hair I is do, about personally. <laughs> maintenance. I think she's you know? perfect. She just yeah. The hair is just she's, easy she's, maintenance. She's Beautiful. kind of a wash and wash and let it dry. Yeah. <laughs> She's not about. She's not just about. Just a little this. Just run your hands through it. She's not putting your hair it. in rollers. Conditioner. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you would, would you like to show uh, Adam your talks? I do. Are you familiar with TikTok? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I've seen the website. Yeah, or she's. Oh. A, it's an app. It's an app. It's an app. Yeah. She's a curator. But I okay. curate yeah, the yeah. marginalized communities. These aren't the dancers. These aren't the attractive folks. These oh, are people freaks. who need a voice. Well, mm. I prefer marginalized. You're saying yeah. freaks? Yeah. Mm. Marginalized. I'm, Adam. Yes. Voiceless Here we many. Go. The voiceless. voiceless. Here we go. Okay. Just, just, Why do royal guards wear their straps under their lips instead of their chin? That's a good huh? question. That's a good silly, question. But the reason they started doing this was to save their lives. <laughs> Those black bearskin hats are 18 inches tall and weigh almost two pounds. Mm-hmm. You see, all that height and weight made a difference during battle. If a soldier was shot during battle, what the heavy idiots. hat could fall backwards and snap their neck if the oh. strap was under their chin. So why not just make the hat smaller? Sometimes there's educational talks. Why do they fight in that? The British are such idiots. Yeah. (laughs) How do they take over the whole world? How do they take over the whole world? With a big dumb hat on like that? It drives me insane. Yeah. They own the entire planet. And they're like, they here's a fucking eight foot hat on my head, like in a yeah, battle. Just make the it's hat so smaller. funny. They had to go back to their shitty island and just be ugly and like, oh, that was weird. We literally, we... <laughs> We did buggery around the entire planet. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> the sun never set on on our like uh, <laughs> molestations that were happening around the planet. And they're so ugly. <laughs> yes. Brutal. Christina's a big fan. Yeah, I'm an right. anglophile. Um, I love, um, me too, honestly. Seriously. Adam, I was thinking the other that day. That wasn't nice. What you said was not nice. Yeah, it wasn't nice. Them. I it still love them. It was not nice. But I, 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 th- I was thinking the other day, like, <laughs> if I didn't live in America, yeah. like, where, on, I'm not going to go to fucking Israel. London. I think London's the London's only. London's the shit, but London's the food the is place. dog shit. No, they have good food. Where? I had great food. I had great food last time. Give us you? a list. I we, had, we had shit food. We, we were just there. Days. I had great food. I didn't eat one good meal we in four days. Four days of I caca. Had amazing food. No lunch, not one good meal. I went meal. to this place, the River Cafe. Oh my god, unbelievable! <laughs> That's my where we had reservations. That really? place is, is unbelievable. That's where we one canceled the best meals of my reservations. Life. Canceled res. One of the best meals of my life. We yeah. canceled. Have you been it? to Hard Rock Cafe? They yeah, have, uh, <laughs> they have a Hard Rock Cafe there. Yeah, they, they had do. it. They still we do. We canceled no, our shit. reservation to go to another place, and the other place was horrible. Oh, you should have gone to this place. No shit. Because my yeah. girlfriend had the cookbook from this place, and so God, that was a big mistake. You should get the cookbook. Fuck off. Shout out to the cookbook. Can I tell you why? Because we were sitting in traffic the day before. We didn't want to sit in traffic to go to oh, fucking no. River Cafe. I know. I just, it's nice there. It is nice. I like that everyone goes to London bed early. Nice. <laughs> London rips. Yeah, okay. the pubs all close at like 11. Yeah, it's always So bad. they get hammered by like 6.30. Oh, yeah. yeah it's or they're the drinking mid, every, every time we drove hammered. by a pub, anything, there's always like 
twenty five people outside drinking. in the middle of the day. Middle of the day. Yeah. Drink. Everyone was drinking. Yeah, yeah they like and they to drink. fight. Yeah, they yeah. fight. They're awesome. Yeah. They, and they don't have cool. guns, so they do knife crime there. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. People but get stabbed. They, they have this. I saw a headline that was like, not, they refer to it as knives crime. And they always plural it like maths. Knives, yeah. And you study knives maths. crime. Yeah. The knives crime epidemic. Dude, but how do they learn English? Their English is all fucking retarded. They came yeah, they came their shit. No, they I came know, but I'm saying like we dropped it, and our way is much better. Our yeah. way is sicker. But that, but, but, yeah. Good question. Why yeah. does Mick? Why do? Why does? Why is Mick Jagger singing in our accent? That happens <gasps> all the time. Because it's tighter. Why is Adele boom, singing in our boom, accent boom. always? Because we do tight truth, shit. Truth, none truth, of the, truth, 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 none of the big ones sing in their accent. But they give it back to us. That's they take so American true. shit and they give it back to us, and they do a great job. They do. Dude, they you do. Just, a, they do a mind. fabulous job. You're right, homie. They sing yeah. with American accents. Yeah, but yeah. our English is a dog's tits, and that's why it is a fucking dog's tits, bro. <laughs> um, here we go. Damn. I don't have any words prepared today. <laughs> I just want you to feel our pain. I don't know if you can at this point based off your policy choices, but I have to pretend you have some form of empathy left. So I am going to spend the next minute screaming because that is what is going on in here. That is what the trans genocide in this country, in this city has brought me to. Great. Trans genocide? <laughs> A minute of this shit. Wow. Imagine that. <laughs> I hate this. I hate what you've done to us. I hate what you're doing to us. I hate you, Board of Supervisors. I hate you, London Breed. I hate you, Jenkins. Wow, that's very cool. Thank you for thank you for including <laughs> like, me in this. Wait, I think he. I, I think it was a good speech, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I think that. No, I mean, <laughs> I did. He got, they, they got the point. They got the point. They point did. Across. Yeah. He, he got the point across. They but, them did. <laughs> no, I mean, it's the best. That's like a good version of the best video of all time, which is the lady screaming when Trump was getting sworn in. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> melting down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's going super the full saiyan. meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like on the I in the miss mall, her so right? much. Yeah, like on freak. the mall. Yeah, <gasps> like looking at God. Like how <laughs> dare you, God? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, I would say this: if you yeah. say you're going to scream for a minute, yeah, she did, and, she, you, and you do it for like she didn't do it a died. few seconds, like I don't they think you can really come through on yeah. anything you're you're wanting or promising. You That's know? a good point, Tom. Follow yeah, through. No follow through. Also, I, I'm not going to make the bad guys arguments. I'm going to say great speech. <laughs> Trans genocide too. I wasn't aware. There's, yeah, yeah. there's, a, they are talking about it a lot. Oh, I, I didn't know that. No, I there mean, like, genocide. not the genocide, but they're like, oh. the, there is like the, they're fought, like, the, I don't know, the, why is this the big thing now? Remember, it was like MS 13 when Trump was the president? <laughs> yeah. Which is like a thing that is like, they're like, he's, they're going to come to your neighborhood, they're going to murder you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like, people are like, yeah, we got to, now it's this is the new culture war. Yeah. Thing, yeah. I think. Transgenocide. But they're like upset. Like, that is like what they're, talking about nonstop. I know. Yeah. I know. Hot topics. Target. All the mom in the mom world. Target. What's going on with Target? Bro, right They're bro, mad at Target? The fucking mom community, which is also following TikTok, they're yeah. fucking livid because Target put out a bunch of tuckable oh. bathing suits. Yeah, yeah. Like every mom on social media is like, I can't believe this. My children are going to see this. And then they're all up in arms about fucking um, Nick and drag queens about this, yeah. and shit like dancing in front of their yeah. kids like dude okay that's not happening but it's but. the same it's just gonna be a new thing next yeah it's so dumb yeah, yeah there's More always something fake that, outrage yeah, it's fake it's, it's fake outrage it's not, yeah. it's not real it's um, definitely not real yeah but like ms-13 was like in sinaloa mexico they yeah. weren't even yeah, in it's america so dumb <laughs> they're like well they were in our old neighborhood yeah macarthur park, park is still uh, oh, in, LA. Still, yeah. in la yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, i forgot about la they're yeah. in el salvador and they're <laughs> yeah. on sixth street downtown and the, the tattoos are insane they're, pretty yeah. wild. they're really scary yes. one time they um yes. like midday um because they used to 
they used to battle with the 18th Street Gang, which is a, a Mexican gang. Did you get involved with like East LA? Uh, I mean, uh, we did well, for we, a couple we, years. What we got, did you we got involved because we lived in the worst neighborhood. <laughs> but one time, this dude, you just heard this fucking. It sounded like a cannon went off, and you know, jumped on the ground in the apartment, and a yeah. guy had just put a. a a 45 to a guy's head and shot him in the head in broad daylight, oh like middle God. of the day on the corner of the, of the, the street we lived on. And then he just put the gun down and sat and just waited for the cops. It was just like some, Oh, like, he's an honest man. Yeah. He was an honest man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's not a coward. He didn't run away. He didn't run away. Yeah. He said, I, by he the like, way, that was me. Case, yeah. case settled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no trial necessary. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Oh God! These make oh, me. What is this? Cave divers. Look at these fucking guys. <laughs> these give Tom anxiety, which is why I like to. Me. And my helmet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. That is so bad. So bad. All right. It's like, yeah, it's doable, but it's bad. This is that. <laughs> well, I'm heading back. Okay. There are oh, still plenty more so caves scary. to see back there. I don't like it either. It's yeah. horrible. It's not but nice. It's just way it's too nice. tight. It's too small. And I don't have enough energy at <laughs> this point. It's too small. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not enough room. We're back to the suicide crawl. Back to the suicide crawl, Tom. I don't like these at yeah. all, Adam. <laughs> I don't um, like it. It's not nice. We're not, not even nice. quite halfway out, but. We're in a pretty sad state here. Yeah. I just got mud all over my oh. stomach. And, oh, is that uh, the problem? The mud on your stomach? <laughs> I mean, I'd shit. imagine that the sliminess of the cave would help him through these narrow openings, no? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But apparently yeah. not. I don't like that at all. I don't like it. <laughs> it gives me real anxiety to watch I these. I, I, have claust I, I have claustrophobia, for real. Yeah, it's yeah, terrible. I hate it. Let's get out of oh, here. Oh, let's watch. May I get that with no ice, Horses please? Jerked Episode off. 23. That's just nice. So this is one of the ice machines that makes that ice, that nugget ice that everyone loves chewing, also referred to as good ice. <laughs> so pretty much a little bit of context. They got a complaint. A lady got an ice water. And when the ice melted, the water turned brown. Oh, no. So I started taking it apart. And yes, I found it pretty dirty. Um, it probably hadn't been clean mm. in a very long time. But I ran into something that really, really blew my mind. So pretty much I started flushing out the water that was being used for ice. And this was it. It was so, so dirty. Oh. So I pretty much just kept <laughs> flushing it and flushing it and stuff There's kept coming out. There's particles now, dude. So the first thing I thought was, when was the last time they replaced their water filters? Uh. Turns out it had been four years, <gasps> but it's supposed to be every six months. Bruh. I took it all apart, sanitized it, installed new filters until the water was crystal clear. It's just all Wow. Bruh. That was fuck that ice, homie. It was disgusting and satisfying at the same right? time. Right? Yeah. Satisfying. Dude, this way, yeah. I don't fuck with ice. You're, you're doing really a, good on your talks. Today. I was looking at a dishwasher things. guy the other day who's like, just gets, so, yeah, I think he's in Texas, but he gets pissed off at um, fabric softener. Oh, really? He's like, you're destroying your unit. He's like, how many times <laughs> do I have to tell you? Do not use fabric softeners. Why is that? Just the chemicals. In laundries? It, yeah, apparently it's, it's bad for the machine. It makes things nasty. Really? Wow. Things I thought get that nasty. was like part of... <laughs> things get nasty. Yeah. He like takes them apart. He shows you how nasty it's gotten. I love that. Yeah. I gotta you heard find it here this first, guy. man. Well, you heard it from this guy. Yeah, yeah. tiny This guy's ice. gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Don't Do fuck not use with tiny ice, bro. Don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how horrible this is. Fuck this, dude. 360 swing. No thanks. Freaking out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Would you do this, Adam? I don't know. I like it when kids get hurt. I, I think that she... I'm hoping she gets hurt. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but it's cool. Tom, are you already doing this? You're going to book your appointment to buy one of these? or? Oh, do this. Yeah. It looks pretty sick. Tom's going to do it. Tom's do done it. it. <laughs> You get you get real hardcore. Hmm? You get extreme. No. Yeah, no. he cold plunges in the morning, and then he gets on his three sixty swing no, in the backyard. Cool. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Come on. I, I, I. You're supposed to do that. I do. I drive sometimes in on a, a track. Car? Yeah, on a track. On a track. Yeah. A race track. Uh, you go. You go fast. Yeah. How fast is Ricky Bobby? How go? fast have you gone? One hundred fifty. 
Wow. That's not that fast, you know. Does it feel good? Yeah, it's great. It's sick. Yeah. What about the heli- helicopter pilot? Did you go to that place in Vegas? I've done that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm from there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it like growing up in Vegas? Pretty boring. Didn't see you don't seem like a Vegas guy at all. No, it's pretty boring. I I God. one of our friends' moms, like the place we'd go get fucked up at, mm-hmm. that his mom was a school nurse during the week and then uh she danced uh uh, she's an exotic dancer. Cool. She's a school nurse. Sweet. That's tight. Uh, you want to go beat off right now? That's really That's cool. sexy, isn't it? Was she hot? She was. Of course, yeah, she, she would fuck with us. She like answered the door in a towel. She's like, "Oh, your friends are here," and we'd be like, "Oh," <laughs> just like never had a sniff of pussy in my oh, life. God. Yeah. Just oh my god, she'd fuck with us, and then yeah, she'd be gone at night. So then we get we get drink party, beer yeah. and smoke. Uh, yeah, marijuana. I mean, there's somebody that would definitely lived that fantasy of being like that was my school nurse and now yeah. i'm going to watch her dance wow. that's probably how she makes all her business it's pretty well incredible. there was like in retrospect a really sad thing that happened was like you have to be 18 to dance and then this girl my senior year started and then like a bunch of guys from my school went and then we're like ah and then in retrospect i was like oh that must have been awful no yeah. that's what she wanted that must have been awful. Mm, you guys no. give her money. She loved that. No, they were That's like whores too. They were being. <laughs> she was being. <laughs> yeah, she was. You, you said oh, it. Yeah. you could say it. <laughs> That's not for me to say. <laughs> no, she's a hoe, and she wanted to. She knew what she she's was. She's a kid. Yeah, she, That's just a bit. That's a she's kid. A She's a kid. She's but, not a full, full fledged hoe. Oh, okay. She's That's a just kid. She's a kid. She's a kid at school. But she was in a in minor league hoe. She was in development. She was, getting, yeah. 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 She was in the farm. She was in the G League. Yeah, she was in the G League. Come on. Saturday segment. I used a submitted photo of a cat with an inappropriate name. I don't want to use the name here, but oh. I never intended to hurt or offend anyone by using that picture. That was actually just given to me. I understand my mistake and I am deeply sorry. And in the future, I will absolutely be more diligent with this content to ensure it never happens again. So we've got our Saturday night forecast for you now where we are featuring Kitler here. Thanks to Debbie Alexander. There you go. Kitler. That's funny. Yeah. I love news. News fails are a great, yeah. Are a great the, uh, subcategory of the internet. Deep the apology. apology where they go, this is the only way you're fucking t- yeah. staying the weather anymore here. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's no more humidity reports if you don't apologize. <laughs> Yeah. But do you think anybody feels vindicated when they're like, thank goodness she apologized? For the yeah. Kittler no, I can heal. Home, I can like, heal. No, you ne- no I one ever heal. likes a single apology ever. Never. Who's ever been Never. apologized to and says, and the, 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 the other person says, I feel great. Yeah. No. No, especially for something as minor as You're this. You're like, you call that an apology. <laughs> you didn't do enough. You apologize. Any, anytime right. a celebrity apologizes, the headline is, apologizes sort of. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's never enough. They never That's go. The Trump system, you just yep. never apologize. Never. You do the worst things. <laughs> People get furious at you and you just don't say sorry and yeah. you could keep doing yeah. bad things. Yeah. yeah. Does it's Woody not... Allen ever apologize? No. He never no. apologizes. Well, no, he because he going. doesn't apologize. He's like, I didn't do what their kids yeah. are saying. Oh, it's I denial. Did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah, my he's son totally and my daughter are fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're lying. He said that. <laughs> well, it's Frank Sinatra. So. Right, right. My yeah. Frank's kid and the other chick, they're fucking stupid and they're lying. Yeah, my stepdaughter wife. And why would I fucking try to finger them when I have this Chinese broad right next to me? (laughs) My my own kid. (laughs) So weird. And and then means for a kebab, right? Now I'm going to do a step forward, a do a step back. He took me down the stairs and it was a laboratory. Is it English? No, I think it's Portuguese. Washing machine. Tumble dryer, any scrap metal, but anyway, right? I come in, I'm doing a shite, chilling out, doing my thing. No, it's not. Manchester. And I'm like, oh my god, that's gear. So I just sniffed a bit of it and guess what it is? Oh, it is English. English. That is English. Fucking Jack She's Scottish. It's Scottish. Yeah, that so, is insane. <laughs> their accent is crazy, and I, I've recently kind of gotten in trouble about talking about it. So. About their accent? It, it started a full controversy that's now. Four months long, and now it involves Taylor Swift. So wait, wait, wait. You have to explain a little more. What do you mean? I'm in bro. I, I've been getting like a thousand Google alerts every day. Because you made fun of of this accent. No, this guy came. This guy from this big band came on our podcast, and that was the first reaction was that we made fun of the native Scottish uh, dialect, and then uh, and then you know different like accents and stuff. Sure. Um, and that he's this guy from uh, whatever. I'm. I. It's it, now. It's he, now he's dating Taylor Swift. 
and now it's like an international news story oh, and they're like they're like uh, petitions to get yeah maddie yeah um yeah so then we got in trouble because he said that he like dm'd uh that girl ice spice uh that rapper and then nick didn't know who that was so he said is that the eskimo spice girl which is oh, kind of an obvious joke yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. but then we're like what do eskimos even sound like right and yeah. then they were like you're speculating about her race or something oh god but yeah. he didn't even know who she was and then so then as a result of yeah. this um it was announced that uh taylor swift to, and ice spice uh, released a song together. Oh my god! As a result of this, thing? and then I tweeted, "You're welcome," right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then they were like, "I was getting head like Buzzfeed, like all these headlines." Adam Freeland claims responsibility for Taylor Swift and Bu and I've been getting death threats. People are telling me to kill myself constantly. Oh my gosh! Wow. I've literally been like, people are like, "I want to push you in front of a train." God damn! People are so mad. Uh, I'll tell you this. People are so, I mean, like. I didn't realize it. Well, first of all, I didn't realize how, like, our, like our friend, Maddie's our friend. Like, we didn't realize how famous he was. And then he invited us to his show and he was like, sold out Madison Square Garden. And then I guess now, Taylor Swift is the most famous person and in the beloved. world. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's why. And, and, and like, that's his girlfriend now. That's his girlfriend now. Okay. She just broke up with some other fella, I heard. Uh, yeah. I don't like, listen, I'm like so divorced Chase from told this me all world. About it. Oh, wow. I was watching Vanderpump Rules with my girlfriend. I was like, this is way more interesting than whatever they're talking about with Taylor Swift right now. I was like, this show is good. You're, you know what the problem is? Yeah. You're dealing with the Swifty community. It and those stands, fuckers do it not stands, play. It stands. But so so then there are like petitions now that you have to break up with your boyfriend. And, and then it's just like that. And yeah, our show is like... Uh, it's all because of his the podcast he did with us in February. Who the fuck is Ice Spice? She's a rapper. I know her name, but like, what does she look? I've never she's seen. She's got her. like orange hair. She's quite. She's pretty beautiful. Okay. Um, yeah, she went on stage with Taylor. <sighs> wow. Yeah, she wow. looks kind of like a little orphan Annie. A little, a little bit. bit. <laughs> okay. She um, looks like a well, normal person. I like yeah, Taylor's she's... new boyfriend's cute. That's your friend. That's our friend. Yeah, he's, he's yeah adorable. it's this guy. Yeah, adorable. And then, so, yeah, so then it's become this huge... There was a fucking New Yorker article about it. Wait, what's the... Ba is the backlash... That's that's you? Amid backlash? Yeah, it's it's us. It's the Adam Friedland show. Oh because my God. Because of the it's, Eskimo line? Because the Eskimo line about... And so he had to that's apologize so to Ice... It's really... It's... it's I did like... Um, it's so gay. It, I have to say, like, typically it would really stress me out. Well, in the past, like, you know, anytime, like, uh, something like this has happened in public, I've gotten yeah. really stressed. Like, I had a coffee shop in my neighborhood um, get mad at me and, like, uh, because I, I did a tweet and I didn't even say their name and I got banned from the coffee shop and, like, they, you know, that kind of stuff, like, would stress me out. This is happening. I'm getting literal death threats right now. Bruh. And it's, I have no well, emotional response to it. Let me ask you this. Are you <laughs> sorry? Like, what? Are you sorry? For what? Exactly. Yeah. So fuck them. And, yeah. I mean, it's just, I, I don't know. Oh, for, well, they said, we've tried to figure out what the, the an Eskimo accent sounds like. Yeah. And that's probably offensive to Inuits. Yeah, well, Inuits. Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't know what it sounds like. Yeah. Nick was doing basically that. Yeah. And then, and then. Yeah, so then, yeah. then, but now it's exploded. Sure. Now oh, my boy. people's like friends of mine, their parents are texting them like, are you friends with that racist? Jesus Christ. Yeah, like their parents, like their parents. Who's, do you eat I seals hate racism. Eyes? I hate racism. For the record, yeah. I have, I, I'm on a big platform right now. I, I fucking hate racism. It's awful. It's and really, it's just wrong. It's course. just wrong to be racist. Of course it, it is. It is wrong to be racist. But now I'm on this massive uh, platform. I would love to go while I'm here, go on Rogan and just for five seconds, just say that and then walk out of the studio. There but uh, there should be another point made, which is that the Inuit, no one's fucking giving them any problems. Like they're fine. No, no, it's they not about that. It's about us. that. I spice. Um, they thought we were speculating about her race, uh -huh. but Nick just didn't know who she was. Right. So and then the obvious joke is, oh, is that the. Is that the Alaskan, the Alaskan Spice Girl? I got you. Yeah. You know, it's oh, just yeah. like it's ice like a spice. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Ice Spice. Yeah, ice Spice. Yeah, and, do, and here's the thing: I no like Inuit that. people know about this. They're not aware that this mm, is. They a probably do. I'm probably getting. They probably do. They try to revoke his They're visa. They're making whale They try to revoke his visa to Japan. On. Really? <laughs> because Nick did a bit. Nick did a bit where he was like, "Do you think like 
there were like Japanese interns at Auschwitz? Do you think they were like, oh, my fucking dad, he got me this fucking internship. Like he wants me to get a job. And then like he's like making people take their shoes off before they go in the shower. You know? <laughs> So he did that. that and then they were evoked. And then they were. Then there was an appeal to the. He Maddie did stadium tour because in Japan recently, and people tried to revoke his visa. Jesus, because of Nick Vaughn. <laughs> like These guys are fucking hitting home runs, dude. I don't know. I mean, like it's it's pretty. Is that right? I just don't know. Good, just good job, man. Yeah, <laughs> I just wasn't on Fine. purpose. We've been doing this for seven years into a void, I believe. The ugly men had no problems with this. The ugly men had no issues. They're very, they're great people. <laughs> we love our ugly men. On both sides. We love it. Well, yeah, that's stupid. It's bizarre. He yeah. likes nice things, everybody. I like nice things, and I hate racism. And he hates racism. I guess because yeah, Ice Spice is a woman of color. They thought that we were demeaning her race, ah. but I don't think that that is what the. I mean, if anything, it was offensive to Inuits. To Inuits. Yeah. But um, but now I, know, I want to know what those She's Inuits She's very beautiful. Sound like. Look how beautiful she is. I mean, I, I, it, unless that's whatever. She's great. Scroll. We love her. <laughs> we love her. Folks, we love her. Wiki. We oh, love her. Painful. Background. Uh. We love her. She's from like the Bronx or something. Or she's from New York, I, I believe. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, she's huge. Oh, her name is Isis. Yeah, she's from the Bronx. Her name's Isis. My dog's name, name is Isis, too. Really? Yeah. Same reason, huh? Not, <laughs> well, it was, she came as Isis. Not because like, I, I didn't want to name her that. What about, oh, she's so be, young. She's yeah, super she's like young. And she's like, she's, Hit the Wikipedia. she's very uh, popular now. And uh, and if she's listening, I, I think she is a big fan of this podcast. If you're listening, I would love <laughs> to have you on the Adam Freeland Show. We're based in New York City. We have a we have an office in uh, on in Flatiron, very conveniently located in Manhattan. I would love to have you. There on. you go. And listen, um, oh, her father was an underground rapper. Oh. Yeah, uh, mother Dominican. Nice. Oh yeah, pictures uh, of her mom leaked, and her mom's a baddie. Oh really? Yeah, look it up. I Spice Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> her mom's a baddie. Okay. Let's yeah. see. Ooh, oh damn. damn! That's her mom. Dude. Yeah, that's her mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! God. Look at yeah, she's her mom's hot. So rad. Damn. Now uh. I'm speculating about the hotness of a woman, or I don't know, I don't know, folks. All right. I just get in trouble. I get in trouble. This my this coffee shop thing was like, uh, they called me a white supremacist. Also, oh, Jesus, because I did a I did a tweet right where I was like, shout out to the coffee shop with the um. With the six dollar cold brew and the refugees are welcome here sign, right? <laughs> yeah. So the which is like a fucking That's pretty basic. It's like yeah. well, the refugees couldn't even use the bathroom. Yeah. Because it's sick. This you know, the the prices these it's days so expensive. Yeah. Right, and then I went into my coffee shop in my neighborhood for two years after that tweet. Didn't they didn't say anything, and then and then one day they were like, "You're not welcome here anymore." <gasps> no. And I was like, "Why?" And they were like, "Because this is a." This our business is owned by women of color, oh, and you're boy. doing violence against us. And I was like, but I didn't say the name. It could be any coffee shop. I didn't say the name of your coffee shop. And they're like, they're like the the cold brew's five fifty. And I was like, I know it's like it's comedy that we do hyperbole, and also with a tip, it's a six fifty. <laughs> yeah. I tip one dollar because I'm a good person. But like, yeah, fuck that. Like, so then they, they were like popping off about this is uh, violence and Dude, white supremacy. Oh like, my god. Then, it's just, I don't, it's me. Chelsea Clinton got mad at me. For another tweet? For another tweet. Yeah. Another tweet. What was the tweet? I didn't even tag her. Was it about her? Well, it was like when, okay, so people were calling, <laughs> people were calling that lady Ilhan Omar, the yeah, congresswoman. From Minnesota. From Minnesota, who's like a fucking hero. She's like a refugee that like worked her way into the Congress. She's yeah. like, it, she was getting like dragged for being an anti-Semite because she was like criticizing APAC, which is like the Israel lobby. Mm -hmm. And she did a tweet where she said, it's all about the Benjamins. And they said, oh, that's anti-Semitic to what? say, ah. to say uh, to, Jewish that Jews love money, money or yeah. something. It's literally, it's literally a, a f fucking lobbying organization. Yeah. yeah, It's like, it is like if for us, in like, it looks like a conspiracy. It, sure. We're not making ourselves look good there, but everyone's like, 
was like calling her out and shitting on her. Like AOC was even like, we need to talk. Ew. And it's like, why are you dragging this woman? She like, Ew. she, whatever. And I got really upset about it. And then, um, and then Chelsea Clinton started popping off on her. And so I tweeted, <laughs> I tweeted, Chelsea Clinton isn't even Jewish. She's just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> So, and then that's great. She quote tweeted it and she was like, you're right, Adam, I'm not Jewish, but the, the, the trope of it, the stereotype of the ugly Jew has been a centuries old trope in anti-Semitism. She starts lecturing me on um, anti-Semitism. Where is, I'm like, Jewish. I'm Jewish. And also just like, you know, like, so then I get just start getting fucking hit. I was, like thousands of people. Geraldo chimes in. He's like, "You're a fucking asshole!" <laughs> like all these people. Start, That's the, the best. You did it, dude. My fucking avatar is Chris Bosch. It's a picture of Chris <laughs> Bosch, right? When he was on the Raptors, and yeah. he's like wearing a cowboy hat, and he like looks really weird. You know how he looks like a dinosaur, like yeah. sometimes. And uh, all these like fucking like women, like just off of yeah, this picture right here, just this, this picture. So then all these like women, like these like Chelsea Clinton, whatever, like stands who are like clearly like just off of white wine at 11 a.m. Yeah. Like That's uh, me. we're like just blowing up that picture and like she's beautiful and you're fucking ugly. Like, look how ugly you are. Oh, my God. And it's a picture of Chris Stupid Bond. Idiots. It's a picture of Chris Bond. Everybody's so That's dumb. That's hilarious. So like, stupid. You're just, now you're actually being racist. Lady. So this stuff has happened. This stuff is, just happens to me. And now with this, I don't know. I I just can't. Uh, I'm not processing it. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. Tell me you're gonna push me in front of a train. All right. Uh, you're. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Someone said you will never know peace. Well, well, all you have done on this show is given people such great reasons to sign, like, follow you on Twitter, yes. uh, listen to your podcast. Follow you on all social media. Uh, watch the Adam Friedland show. <laughs> Please support the Adam Friedland show. Buy and... tickets to see Adam at adamfriedland.com. Slash tour. Slash tour. And don't forget uh, Nashville, July 14th and 15th. Are you at Zanies? I'm at, I'm at Zanies. Zanies so, is the best. Fun. Nashville is, but it's the worst so city fun. in America. <laughs> you like uh, Not the so? worst. No, there's worse. There's I hate way it. Way worse. There's that no bad? Jews there. But I hate the. There's no Jays in, in the, the South. No, but, but no, I don't care about Jews. I'm oh. not going there for like to tour the JCCs of America, but. But um, it's not the worst. There's, no. We can talk about the worst. Those wagons with like the just the fattest bachelorette parties. <laughs> oh, yeah, the pedal, the the pedal the things. Those pedal the things. Yeah. And they're just like those listening to all ski, ski, that's ski. That's true. Like, yeah, that, those are awful. Hammered. Yeah. Those are awful. That's super and every time they go past you and they're like <laughs> and they're struggling to fucking pedal yeah, they're you like hope that an F-250 will come and <laughs> just, just take it out wipe it yeah every <laughs> single time you're like please hit them please god please, it has to happen I don't understand how it doesn't happen more so it's like an incel attack maybe yeah. or, no, side swipe them with there's a semi that, and then like um <laughs> The fucking uh, no, do they live through that? And they're all drunk. I don't know. They're hammered in the morning. And like I can't think. But of it's anything. like the place you go if you're like I want I want to go to New Orleans, but I don't want jazz people to be there. Yeah, I can't it's imagine. Like, I, I want no. I want all white New Orleans. Basically. Yeah, I fucking. But yeah. Why would you want to pedal when you're drunk? Like exercise it when you're all. drunk? <laughs> yeah. All right, we gotta okay, go, go, you guys. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Bye, guys. When I bought it, it was not orange when I bought this motherfucker. If this was the real lighter thing, it was right here, man. Silver, a silver lighter. Take off the motherfucker paper. Orange fucking lighter. It's an orange lighter? What the fuck? I'm gonna rip this motherfucker off. It's a black fucking lighter. You see this shit? It's a black fucking lighter. What the fuck? A silver lighter. Orange lighter.
Hey, you just watched a full episode of your mom's house. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, watch another one. Maybe you'll like that one. They're everywhere. Look, I don't know. They place them in like cubes, squares, whatever it is. Just click another one. Maybe you'll find someone you like or someone will get hurt. <laughs>